left. So, Lilia, please search where Professor Zenaida is there. We would like to search him. One fellow okay, colleague. I'm gonna call to her. One fellow colleague is already present from Ukraine. I've already called uh, to Professor Zinagida. She said that she's uh, in the process of connecting because right now she has uh, uh, her postgraduate student and she works with uh, her She's student. Your event is best. Alexander, greetings from Ukraine to Ukraine. Okay, Alexander. Welcome, Dr. Alexander. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Thank you. Okay, this is the second meeting with you. November you appeared, now in February once again we are meeting with you. And we would like to listen your contribution in the academic uh, domain. So I think the topic you have already selected, modeling the process of ensuring the financial security. Good topic is there. So. Okay. okay so here, Professor Maria from Brazil, she has already joined. Professor Angela, she has already joined Professor here. Professor Zenaida also to join us. Uh, Professor Zenaida too. Welcome, welcome, Professor Zenaida. This is Thank good you. afternoon from India. I think morning will be at uh, Ukraine. Thank and you. it will be, it will be, I think, night at uh, Brazil because Professor uh, Maria is already present here. Welcome. Uh, uh, Wilson, sir, two days successfully, good afternoon, good afternoon, sir. Uh, two days successfully you have completed yes. and uh, I think report is already ready with you because today you will have to share the report of three yes, days yes. activities, right? Yes, yes, sir, yes sir. It's, uh, it's already ready. So definitely. Mm -hmm. And because all these reports I will share on the FAI website. Yes, so detailed report, detailed report uh, we will give it to the website. Then I think uh, uh, five minutes report I will present in the well okay, report. Five minutes report you may present. Oh, yes, you have because, uh, because the uh, uh, the detailed report I will have to submit on the website. Okay. Um, and uh, I will have to update because November report is to be updated, December report is to be updated, and then this February report. After this, I think. Uh, uh, I will have to devote myself for all the Springer proceedings that we are that we are doing. First one, the publication division is looking after production development department of uh, F uh, Springer is looking after. Second and third is in process, and I request each and every one those who have contributed as a part of uh, their talk prepare uh, the paper in the format of the Springer template that is already associated with the announcement available uh, on this uh, uh, website of this particular conference. Prepare at least a, a minimum eight or 10 page, eight pages must be there. And so submit the paper and then we will start the reviewing process. So next four months, I will have to produce uh, with, me, with the support of each and every one the proceeding of FAI. Lilia, your support is essentially required because uh, you are one of the dynamic person. Uh, your support is required for the all the Ukrainian fellows, their article and their further submission. Welcome, Dr. Raj Reddy, you are here. Raj Reddy, I think he is visible. So all the Ukrainian fellow colleagues, those who are already joined us, so once again, on behalf of FAI, good afternoon from India. And I think good morning from Ukrainian point of view and good night will be from the Brazilian point of view. So I think Dr. Tayan, what is the timing here? It is five to five o'clock evening. 
Unmute yourself, sir. Yeah, it's about five o'clock, yes. Five o'clock evening. evening. Right. Ilya is taking a cup of tea. It is morning. I think it will be 12 o'clock. No, that's not <laughs> morning. That's 12 p.m. That's 12 a.m. So that's not <laughs> morning. It is noon. It is noon. Noon, noon. Yes, 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 yes. So, Professor Maria, I think she is not visible. Professor Maria, are you here? She was here. She was firstly in you, sir. And she represents herself, of course. We talk <laughs> about uh, about the weather, about the timing. And uh, yeah. she said that it was 5.40 uh, 5 a.m. in her timing. Oh, 5.40. When she, uh, yeah, when I was yeah. talking with her. Okay, 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 okay. She's present. Morning. She's definitely present. Maybe ah, she, she went to present. have some coffee or some oh, yeah, tea. Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. 5.40. Raj Reddy, Dr. Raj Reddy. Professor Raj Reddy, are you here? Good morning. Uh, good morning, evening. morning, Ajnela. So, Not, have you uh, in this here? Good morning. It is seven, uh, seven o'clock a.m. Seven o'clock a.m. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, Raji, you are joined. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, uh, Dr. Ajanela, would you like to share one thing that how it happened with your WhatsApp number? Because uh, each and every must be very careful about this cloning process that is being adopted by the hackers of the mobile numbers. Uh, this is a very serious issue as your mobile number is already hacked and it is cloned. I can say it is cloned. So... As my uh, cell phone uh, is cloned and I uh, changed the number. Okay. And uh, my account uh, of a bank uh, in, in, uh, yes, cloned, uh, is cloned too. Oh. So it means if you are using your bank number, bank account number connected with your mobile number, and if you are using the same number for your WhatsApp connection, it means we will have to be careful. We will have to be careful. So use only that particular yes. mobile number that is not connected with your banking account. So yes, uh, in, in Brazil, it is current now because the pandemic. Okay. Now it is a general general suggestion to each and everyone. Please avoid the WhatsApp number. I mean, please you don't use your banking account number bank that is connected with a mobile number. Thank you. And use only that mobile number that is not uh, connected with any bank account. As a, uh, okay, good evening. Good evening, Raji. How are you? So sorry, sorry for the delay. There is a small issue in my laptop. Okay, okay, it is fine. Yeah, no, I'm okay. It is okay, okay. So, Wilson, sir, where are you? Dr. Yes, I am here, sir. Here. Now, 3 30. Uh, so, today, yes. today, you may uh, uh, give some relaxation to the speakers five to ten minutes more. No problem yes. because one or two fellow may one or two fellow may miss. Okay, so, okay. okay. So, let us start Can your start? proceedings. Yes. yes, start your proceedings, sir. We are on the third day of the 23rd FA International Conference 2021, organized jointly by Fatar Academy of India and Arlander College India and Unifact West University Center Brazil. I warmly welcome all participants. First session today is chaired by Professor S. Rajaradi, Department of Mathematics and Humanities. Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. I invite Professor S. Rajaradi to chair the session. Over to Professor Rajaradi. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the organizers and particularly FAI, Professor Pankaj Srivastava. You have given me opportunity to chair the session. I am very thankful to organizers once again. Thank you, sir. And hello.
Yeah, please invite the speaker, sir. I think you have the details. Yeah. The today's speaker is uh, Professor Mayus Iriana, uh, Professor of Economics, Crack University, Ukraine. And today is going to deliver a topic, the role of the corporate secretary ensuring the economic security of the giant stock company. And uh, now I invite Professor Mayus Iriana. Professor, please join. Good evening, Professor. Just wait a minute, Raji. Just wait a minute. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, uh, Professor Pankai, I'm sorry. Uh, it is um, that situation about uh, what this uh, Professor Zinaida called to you. Uh, so, um, shall we move to another other speaker, Silkin? Okay. Silkin, okay. Silkin will call. Yes. So session will be chaired by Professor Raj Reddy. Professor Raj Reddy, please chair the session. Okay, sir. Professor Raj Reddy and the, I think it will be the jointly shared by the both the professor. Okay, okay. So Professor Oksana, are you here? Okay, okay. Raji, please chair the session. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Now I will invite Professor Mayus Iriana, Professor Crack University, Ukraine. Please welcome, sir. Uh, sir, she will join later on, I think. Okay, okay. Silkin, Silkin Professor Sil Dr. Silkin Alexander is present here. Uh, doctor, now I will invite Dr. Silkin Alexander. Please uh, join. Uh, hello, can you hear me? Um, um, yeah. So we present you uh, our uh, to our science, uh, Alexander Silkin, uh, the Department of Financial and Economic Security, Accounting and Taxation, Ukrainian Academy of Printing, Lviv, Ukraine, and uh, Tatiana Arestenko, Marketing Department, Dmitro Motorny, Tavria State uh, um, Agrotechnical University, Ukraine, modeling the process of ensuring in financial security of enterprise. Sasha, you please. Uh, thank you. Uh, so, can, I, so uh, can you give me the rights to demonstrate my presentation? Dr. Tan, please uh, permit him to share the screen. It's already yeah. given, always uh, given. Already given. Okay. Um, no, I don't have rights. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now I have. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Good. Uh, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, as you see, my topic today is uh, modeling the process of ensuring financial security of enterprise. So, so I try to explain what model we use this time to demonstrate this process because it's uh, uh, very hard to explain in a real enterprise's work uh, how to ensure any security, it doesn't matter if it's financial, economic, uh, ecology, doesn't matter. But we ju just take the financial because the topic of my all research is about financial crisis, anti-crisis management, so this is why we decided to uh, choose the financial security. So, the first, what we need to do is to find out what elements we need for our model. The case structural components, we call it. So, we need the purpose of the model. You, you can see this in presentation, so don't read this. But, pro uh, purpose of the mod uh, modeling, point of view, the target additional of the modeling, uh, functional modeling context, modern, modeling uh, technology, and the model modeling software. So uh, some specifics I will explain. First is we use the model uh, model process 
with the help of IDF node. This is very popular modeling system, but uh, it's in one way it's simple, but in another way it's good to uh, demonstrate what we wanted to do to ensure the financial security. This is why we use this uh, system. And the software, it can be uh, uh, any software actually. It, 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 can, it, can, it can be used in Microsoft Visio, it can be used in Microsoft Excel, even in, in a Word. So it's very simple to use, simple to work with this modern system, IDF node. So when we have all these comp uh, components, we become with the first stage. The first stage is a hierarchy of blocks of the functional mod model of IDF node the process of uh, ensuring the financial security of enterprise. So we have uh, the main task, R0. This is the areas ensure the, uh, the financial security of enterprise. But to get this, we need to uh, finish some task. This is A1, A2, A3, A4, A, A3, what more or even uh, um, not so big. It can be A1, A8, A2, that's fine, or it can be A1, A2, and 3 and even A8. How many tasks you want to do to, uh, to complete your A0, you can put in this box. So you can see we need to improve the financial security, form the information of basis to financial security management, and another you can see in this slide. So when we have this task to complete our A0, ensure the financial security of enterprise, we build the complex diagram of the IDF0 model of the process of ensuring the, the financial security. This is a mistake. Uh, mistake. Uh, yeah. So uh, to ensure the financial security of enterprise, this is like a black box system. You need to have some research, the I, you need some information, you put this in the box and you have some results. Uh, this is, uh, uh, results can be different, but to the simple results is some information. Information about how to use some, some uh, decisions, some management, the crisis, not anti-crisis management decision to help you to ensure the financial security. So information, this is the simple you can get on this box. So the best decision you use, the, the C process, it's some models, some technologies, some uh, systems, some mechanisms you can use to help you to, to complete your task, ensuring the financial security of enterprise. And the uh, M1, M2, M3 is just uh, some, some instruments. It can, be, it can be technical instruments, some people can help you just don't uh, complete without some help for another people. Uh, so uh, when you build this, you understand what you can help use, what models you can use, what you can put in this box, and what you can want to get from this box. And in the finish, in the finish, you get your decomposition of the context diagram of the IDF mo model of the process for ensuring financial security of enterprise. So, uh, when you uh, take uh, the complete all your blocks, you have this model. And the people in the price, your pers personnel, your top manager, uh, they have this uh, by the by, by, by one steps uh, elements, how they need to do to ensure the financial security. So uh, we put the information, we put your models, we have some uh, help for another people and they began complete all your tasks you give them. The A1, improve the financial security. So this is the main task because if you complete A1, you complete A0. But to do this, you complete A2, step A3, A4, A5. You can see every uh, step have some results. These results help you to understand what information you have and that if the, all elements have complete as you want. 
you have all uh, you can take some information about all about all the progress about all the sub process a1 f2 to understand that uh, your process done good or not uh, so after all completed your elements in a finish you can find two results the first is simple it's good you can ensure financial security or it's bad if some elements can doesn't work and something goes wrong for this simple uh, um, exam, uh, you see, uh, determine the degree of an influence of external or internal stress of financial security. So, if you do don't determine determine uh, some uh, threats, you need to decide to use another model, another mathematical process to find your threats, uh, what have a big influence in your enterprise. So, some changes can be in in every process, in every level of the process. So to the finish, I wanted to t just tell that uh, we use this model, we, we take the model uh, then used before for us, but uh, for the security, to help uh, top management explain what they want from the personal. This is why we try to integrate the system in a, in a financial security of enterprise. Uh, that's right now all i want to tell thank you so much to listen to me uh if you have any questions thank you sir sir phone ji sir chapan sir yeah le le okay okay Oh, really, oh, sorry, uh, thanks a lot again. Bharat, uh, automobile sir. Uh, uh, can you look out for the Jana, sir? Okay. Um, so, enterprise security issue have always received uh, increased attention, especially today. Uh, existing threats, uh, both external and internal, can affect the level uh, of work uh, effectiveness, enterprise, and uh, its uh, competitiveness. Uh, that's why financial the security of the enterprise is important uh, to ensure uh, effective function of the enterprise. Um, the financial security of the enterprise can be characterized uh, by many factors. Therefore, for the normal development of the enterprise, uh, should develop a system of financial uh, instruments that is uh, uses regularly uh, because uh, it helps to explain uh, it functionally uh, and the ability uh, of you know, withstand uh, both external and internal trees. So that's why I'm thinking that uh, this is a very needful topic nowadays. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, is the country of the first world uh, with uh, high economy uh, or is the country of the second world with low economy. Because improving uh, the security um, is uh, the most needful for the economy of the state uh, in general. Thanks a lot. Maybe someone have questions to uh, Mr. Silkin. Yeah, Mr. Chairperson. Hello. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Professor. Uh, your elaborated lecture on uh, topic is uh, modeling the process of ensuring the financial security enterprises. And any questions, please, participants? Dr. Tan, please. Okay. Uh, yeah. I I actually the very very uh, happy to see this idea F zero uh, one uh, in in the mothering because I uh, am mathemat with the mathematics because in the past I have to used the idea F zero uh, one uh, to uh, uh, help to transform uh, one of the very big uh, uh, organizations in Thailand, uh, which is about. Uh, 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 one of the very important big companies uh, producing the seafood. So, so we have this. Uh, we use this model because uh, you can interrelate and connect with different levels. Uh, on the top, we can have the uh, policies and objectives and goal. 
at the bottoms, uh, uh, at the bottoms, we can have the uh, infrastructures and mechanisms uh, to enable the yeah. system, and then let the you know let the activities flow from one end to another end, from one level to another level. And so I see very skillful use today uh, in cooperating uh, mathematics uh, and mothering. And so I, I, I think I, I would uh, uh, maybe use this uh, for mathematics mothering. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a very, very useful uh, mod, uh, concept. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so Silken. much, yeah. Dr. Silken, you are using this zero one modeling approach. So why not you are using here the fuzzy concept? What's the zero one? It means uh, only zero and one you are considering are all the numbers existing between zero one you are using. Yeah, thank you. Um, we just uh, first time tr try to use the modeling IDF uh, zero. Uh, we uh, know they have a lot more levels. You can use the composition of a second level. You can detailize some process A2, probably H3, can, and can be A22, uh, 23. But right now, this is the first time we the seriously takes uh, using this model so this is why we not use all the elements uh, uh, this is our first step for this i probably think in the next time we we'll probably uh, try to use this and probably we don't take only the financial security because it's so uh, uh financial school is not all the security need to, to ensure in, in the prices so we try probably use more elements and probably take the economic security as all. Uh, yeah, maybe okay. next time we try to use at all. Elements. As for the as for the current situation, uh, Dr. Silkin, the current situation, each and every country is facing this economic crisis. So whether you have yeah. evolved this process in this model, whether you have considered that process, or will consider this process to tackle this uh, unexpected event that happened during two zero two zero. So, yeah, uh, we understand this, the, the situation right now, but in this model, we almost not so uh, consider our situation in inflation external. We just want to demonstrate how the top management can use this to ensure financial security. But probably in some levels in A3, in A2, when you perform information basis, you will need to take the information about the COVID situation in a in an enterprise when they function in some region. So probably when you when you want or want to detailize some process, you need to uh, to consider that uh, situation is changed. Something something can go wrong in, in every month, uh, but it need to detailize every process to uh, to uh, to do this. Right now, we're not uh, al almost not to uh, not uh, detailize. This is why we're not uh, so think about the current situation. We just this in the in, this is in the more basic informational level to demonstrate. Okay, okay, that is basic information because COVID was as an un un unexpected situation. It was yeah. an unexpected situation because I think in during November. 2020, once we organized the conference, one uh, talk was shared by Professor Elizabeth. <clears throat> if you want to see that talk, you may go through the FAI YouTube channel. And the timing I may share that I think that talk will be very helpful for you as well because you are predicting and you are handling. Because she analyzed the 100 years data. 100 <clears throat> years data she analyzed regarding this financial economy situation and the security aspect. Uh, it's a very interesting talk because he uh, shown some glimpse of the 1920, because the, that moment it is the Spanish flu was in picture and that's why the similar situation appeared. And uh, as per uh, her e calculation regarding the financial security aspect, that an indication was available since 1980 that this kind of situation likely to occur. And it was a very interesting talk shared by Professor Elizabeth from Portugal. I think if you visit this FAI uh, YouTube channel, uh, uh, the, it was uh, presented on 21st November. So you may listen that talk that will help you 
for improving your this article as well oh thank you thank you thank you so much yeah any questions please no question sir uh, thank you dr selkin you are uh, thank you so much for the you are uh, in the pandemic situation you have taken a good topic on economic crisis and the financial security of the enterprise thank you sir thank you very much thank you so much for attention thank you professor s rajareddy and uh, alexander and i invite profshin dr profshin oksana to take the chair and i think professor pankaj sri vastava may be able to introduce the speaker i would i would like to take the support of none other than my academic advisor dr lilia is here she will suggest me what we will have to do she is my advisor thanks a lot um so dear colleagues uh, we represent you firstly um, our young scientists uh, please don't ask a lot of question because she's very very worried <laughs> No, no, uh, not at all. Uh, PhD in economics. Well, have a wrong one. She's representing from Lviv State University of Internal Affairs, Lviv, Ukraine. Uh, her article is uh, key areas for economic security. So please welcome Olya. Who will chair? You will chair, Liliana? Lilia, professor. Yes. yes, yes. Okay, okay. Please chair. Uh, hello. Uh, let me present my report on the topic uh, K areas for economic security. Uh, my presentation. Uh, economic security of Ukraine is specially important due to the high pace of scientific and technology progress, uh, the emergence of new dangers, and that uh, the phenomenon of market globalization, the planting of traditional sources of minerals and energy resources. Uh, the growing problem of survival of early green the need uh, to actively uh, countries international terrorism. Dr. Tan, please mute the mic of Dr. Rajiradi, please. Uh, economic security is the ability of uh, an economy to maintain st stability uh, counter uh, zerts of instability overcome uh, irreversible uh, crisis and uh, stabilize the uh, situations the maximum allowable minimum the level of the economic security system uh, charges uh, by the preservative of the ability to serve exim after the this and description of the stable state of the economic system the problem of an uh, ensuring and realization uh, of the system of economic security is uh, important of the economic uh, development of the state, uh, but is it becomes especially uh, relevant in the context of uh, a repayment of republic uh, debt uh, for sentient of external and international zards uh, of economic security. Uh, uh, market uh, transformations in Ukraine uh, taking place in the socio-economic uh, sphere uh, requires uh, the formation of an uh, adequate system of uh, national uh, security. Uh, 
uh, modern uh, realities uh, indicate uh, that uh, uh, that of economic and uh, financial security uh, described the uh, offer menace uh, and uh, stability of the financial and economic uh, system of a number of uh, countries and even the uh, world as a whole are becoming uh, more uh, descriptive. Uh, this uh, development is uh, due to the uh, following uh, phenomena. Uh, economic uh, integrations of the country's uh, globalization of economic uh, relations due to this, uh, the loss of stability of the country is that this group led to the uh, spread uh, of uh, destructive uh, zeds in the world economy, increasing the risk of terrorist uh, threats to the economic and speciality financial stability of the almost all countries of the world by extreme uh, and groups. Uh, the uh, detrimental impact uh, of the economy to the environment uh, with uh, uh, that natural distance systems on the uh, global scale, uh, which uh, can destroy the economy itself. Widening uh, the gap between uh, wealth and uh, poverty, uh, which can uh, cause strong social uh, tensions uh, that can uh, destabilize uh, and the country's economy and uh, even the world. Increasing on the debt burden of the number of uh, countries to the level uh, that Exodus is the real possibility of debt repayment and uh, service with uh, cause uh, finan financial uh, contractions and uh, screeches. Uh, the phenomena uh, can affect the economies of uh, countries much more than the classic uh, crisis uh, caused by the quickly uh, development of the economy. Uh, to with uh, professionals and uh, a curial, uh, develop uh, servants uh, have largely adapted. Uh, the phenomena can after the economies of uh, countries much more than the classic crisis caused by the cyclical development of the economy to which professionals and uh, civil servants have uh, largely adapted. The global uh, sets of uh, destabilizing economic security increases uh, the likelihood of loss of economy and uh, physical stability after with the economic, uh, social, and even state uh, systems might be uh, destroyed. Uh, economic uh, freedom uh, should, uh, should be understood as uh, the freedom to cho choose the forms and uh, types of economic uh, activity distributions and as uh, of uh, own foods, uh, purchase and uh, serve uh, for property uh, participants in trade unions. The state is able to restrict the economic freedom and industrial uh, business. Uh, 
uh, a pragmatic uh, approach should be uh, considered a, a constructive uh, assertion linked to with uh, the goal to the state uh, economic um, uh, policy uh, are to create uh, um, and maintain stability and uh, uh, balance in the economic uh, situation. Uh, this uh, uh, approach is uh, called stabilization policy. It uh, most uh, chart uh, crisis of uh, crisis, uh, uh, recession, uh, recessions in this first uh, of all, uh, there is a need to uh, stop a natural process, uh, achieve uh, control and uh, prevent uh, further uh, deteriorant uh, deterrent of the situation. Economic uh, freedom uh, should uh, be understood uh, as a freedom to choose uh, the forms and uh, Tupes of economic activity, uh, the stru the buttons of the us of um, own uh, foods, uh, purchase and the uh, sale of uh, property, uh, participations in trade unions. The state is able uh, to uh, restrict the economic freedom of industrial uh, business. <laughs> Uh, one uh, will talk about security freedom as a goal of state economic uh, policy. We should not uh, meet the interrable uh, freedom bordering of uh, energy, but the level of freedom uh, that is uh, a necessary of uh, insert the effective uh, of the economic system and uh, archive economic goal of state uh, policy. Again, of the background of uh, uh, such clarity, uh, definite general goals of uh, economic uh, development as a target, uh, good deadliness are uh, manifested in the more the time uh, which uh, able to more the tradition uh, target regards it's a uh, questions of course uh, of uh, maintained of the sta stable cell uh, so detail of economic my the uh, separate enterprise region uh, the state uh, the uh, the world Thank you. So thanks a lot, Ola. Um, dear colleagues, believe she made a huge job because she's not English speaking. She she tried to read a lot of times, so she really made a huge job because uh, her uh, native language is German. So uh, Ola, I'm applauding you. That was great. Try and move on, move on, and learn English. So. Um, talking about um, key areas for economic security, this really needful topic, this real needful article, because uh, uh, high financial dependence, uh, internal problems, and um, any other destabilizing factors uh, are the reasons uh, for the decline uh, of the economy and national security. Therefore, a necessary condition uh, for the normal uh, sustainable uh, development of the country is to ensure the protection of vital uh, interests of citizens. Uh, society and the state uh, in general. Uh, the context change uh, of internal and external factors of, de of development um, actualized um, as the study of economic security. Uh, today's conditions in important uh, because 
It allows uh, timely measures uh, to take organizing, uh, organizational and legal support uh, to the economic security of the state. Uh, that's why uh, um, I think that uh, we uh, ought to study and uh, to move on uh, to broaden our outlooks in economic security uh, uh, line. So thanks a lot. Maybe someone have questions or suggestions about this this article no, thank you lilia because this is a great job the olga has carried out yes native language is german and she <laughs> tried her best to yeah. uh, to do your job in english actually this happens if somebody is well versed in uh, the other language and they are try to adopt the some different ones so okay don't worry we all are here to support you we all are here to provide you a sufficient confidence so that next time whenever you will meet us so just like lilia as lilia is speaking definitely would like to see you in that shape as well <laughs> right dr olga dr olga don't worry about it uh, you so. have you have made a great effort dr tan you want to say something oh, because just, uh, uh, thank you very good <clears throat> At least we learned that the economic stabilities and the integrations of all the economic forces have to be taken into account, and that, and, and so we learned a lot from Professor. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Thank you. 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 Both of you, both okay, of you. It is a. I think a, its credit goes oh, yeah. to Dr. Lilia that she she summarized both of us uh, comments in a single language, in a single sentence. That's good, good, yeah. good, 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 good. Okay. So. Okay. Okay. Doctor. Uh, yeah. Welcome. Professor Zinaida, would you like to welcome. say something? Alexander, you want to say something? Please come forward. Say a few words. Professor Zinagida wants to say something. Okay, Thank you, Professor Zinagida. We want to uh, listen to Zinagida. We want to listen to Professor Zinagida. Yeah. The bite is needed. Yeah. Можна що сказати, що все дуже добре. Я дуже дякую за те, що сьогодні пройшли. Оля пройшла перше хрещення, і дякую взагалі, що вони взяли Україну. О свою співпрацю. Професор Зінаїда wants to uh, to uh, to say great thank you uh, that you uh, give us the opportunity, give us the possibility to take part in uh, such a huge conference, and uh, that's needful. And uh, we very respectfully that you um, add Ukraine to your society. So thanks a lot. And uh, she's uh, say uh, the words of thanks about Olya. <laughs> that she's the first time in and without any critic that uh, that's very that's very uh, that's very appreciate and she wants to say thank you to you to mr tan to all the professors uh which really uh which really do the huge job in scientists thanks sure sure so we all are here because the fai platform is the basic purpose is to promote Uh, to provide efficient support for the young academicians and uh, so that they may share their own achievements whatever they have done in their own field and we are interested to listen them and if possible if any suggestion comes definitely all the senior fellows all the fellow colleagues will provide essential support to improve the quality of presentation to improve the quality of content and when then providing a suitable platform for publication your article as well we all are here to support you we all are here to promote you be sure fai platform with the support of my fellow colleague dr zenaida dr chan professor bs bs dr maria emilia dr nina i don't know where nowadays she is not visible dr nina yeah. and dr b3 is each and every fellow colleagues those who are associated with the activities of the fai definitely we all here to promote and support all of you thanks professor zenaida yeah so uh, george take the job and announce the next speaker
रजान ने दूसरा थैंक लिलिया कुकस का फॉर हर टाइमली हेल्प एंड आल्सो एंथुसियास्टिकली चेयरिंग द सेशन आल्सो आई थैंक सिनो विवना औरंगा फॉर हर पेपर ऑन की एरियाज ऑफ फॉर इकोनॉमिक सिक्योरिटी now i think we shall move to the next uh, session and to be chaired by juliana fakchini disusa and presented dr. Beatriz, by uh, please yes dr bitris uh, juliana is here dr bitris hi dr juliana is here mm. dr bitris Right. Yeah. Doctor Pankaj. Rajane, please. Yeah, doctor. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You will have to chair the session now, Doctor Rajane. Ju Juliana? No. 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 You are here. You will have to chair the session for Rajane Dutra. So, Doctor Bitris will chair the session. So we wait, Doctor Bitris. Rajane, please uh, inform uh, Dr. Bitris. She is present here. Okay. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um, I will we start. Bitris is here. Just wait a minute. Just wait a minute. If Bitris is uh, having a cup of coffee, so definitely. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I know. would like to support you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Yeah, don't no 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 problem no problem. I think Juliana is not present here. Maria, Maria, Professor Mario, are you here? Everyone is having a cup of tea because it is too early in the Brazil. So let me introduce uh, Rajane Dutra. Uh, Doctor uh, Rajane Dutra is going to deliver a talk on the correlation between health and spirituality, a very nice topic, and she is uh, associated with the Unify Quest Brazil. Please. Uh, Rajane, please come forward and share your uh, contributions. Okay, thank you very much. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I will share my screen. Let me see. Just a moment. Ah, uh, here. Yes, can you see? Yes, yes, it is available. Yes. Okay. Uh, today I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about the correlation between uh, health and spirituality. On April 7, 1999, the World Health Organization proposed the inclusion of the spiritual aspect in the definition of health. Thus, we can ask. what is religion and what is spirituality religion is uh, uh, religion is uh, beliefs in the existence of superior supernatural power or principle on which the destiny of the human the human being depends and on which respect of the obedience are due spirituality is a way of organizing existence itself which bring a way of preserving life in a broad way spirituality concepts of spirituality are often overlooked by science according to many authors Many patients would like to talk with health professionals about this aspect as something important for for the success of their treatment. The subject must be seen in this in its entirety. Illness brings to the subject an imbalance in this in its biological, psychological, social and spiritual aspects. thus healing actions must be must meet these aspects the 
The subject must be seen in its entirety because we have social relationships, we have some beliefs about ourselves, we have some beliefs about uh, the world. The literature says that patients, really, that patients retreat better when they are having positive beliefs about themselves and about the world. It's also good to remember that social relationships are the fundamental part of a recovery process from some disease. Human being is holistic. Approach in the field of human and natural science that prioritizes the integral understanding of the phenomenon. In a medicine and in the psychology, medical doctrine and psychological school that considers biological and psychological phenomena as ridiculous Reducible, reducible totalities to the simple sum of its parts. When we say that the human being is holistic, we understand that it's more than the sum of its small parts because we are bio, psycho, and social and spiritual. Um, here, I bring a current concept in the health science, which is psychoneuroimmunology. Psycho, when we, are, when we are talking, when we are saying about belief system and emotions, neuro is about the brain functioning, and immunology is the study of the system that protects us anguish infections. Psychoneuroimmunology. It's a very curing area in the neuroscience which show us how psychological aspects influence, directly influence in a physical health, both in the terms of healing in the in the prevention of the serious disease. I consider important to bring a little of the, the concept of, the, of psychoneuroimmunology to present an area of modern science that looks at the subject as unique, that considers spirituality and well-being as a fundamental part of our health. Uh, psychoneuroimmunology, increased immunoglobulins, bodies, antibodies function. It's some results, uh, some conclusions. 50% uh, decrease levels of interleucin-6. It's an inflammatory immun immunity agent in people with frequent religious active activity. and increase of CD4 lympho lymphocytes in HIV seropositive patients in patients with religious or spiritual practice. Well-being and health, final considerations. Many research and studies show us the influence of spirituality on the global health and welfare of a human being. The research brings excellent results in patients with disease such as heart disease, immuno immunological disease, cancer, who have high religiosity or spirituality. Well-being health, final considerations again. <laughs> um, Coming to the end, coming to the end, we can say uh, the spirituality, the spirituality factor can also be considered important, also in the prevention of smoking. 
And spirituality also plays an important role in promoting and maintaining global tranquility and welfare. I would like to say thank you for your attention and say that it's a big pleasure to be here again. Thank you, have a good day. Thanks, uh, Rajani. You have uh, established a correlation. You have proposed uh, something that connecting the health and spirituality. Uh, the, the, the content that you shared, it is a good one. Your effort is good. Uh, if you justify all these things with the help of the huge amount of data, so that moment it will be much more important much more realistic. This is my view. Is it? Do you accept it? Yes, yes. Because correlation, you are going to establish a correlation. It means uh, data requirement is there. Uh, because spirituality definitely affects your health. No doubt about it. It is a direct connection. If you are, yes. have a spiritual feature affected, influenced by the positive energy, Definitely, it is reflected through your face. Yes. Your face is shining. It means your body is fully charged with the body, with the positive energy. And the body charging phenomena, it comes through your spiritual effort. Spirituality is uh, elaborated by different person in a different way. But my perception is that if you are here in this world and God has provided you a two hands, so try to do your best one to support each and everyone, whatever you have. Share all those things to promote those who require. Definitely, once you will support each and everyone, God is looking after you. And due to this uh, uh, sharing phenomena, definitely happiness automatically comes. The, the happiness, the emotions, once you provide a support for someone who deserve for it, he is or she is unable to share the views, but the happiness that is reflected on the face, that is the real prize and that is the real reward, whatever you are supporting. He or she is unable to share her emotions because somebody, those who are introvert, they are unable to share their emotions. Some of them are extrovert, definitely they will say a lot of words, but the emotion matters and this emotion empowers you. This emotion ensures you that whatever activities you are doing, definitely it is for the society, it is for the mankind, for the welfare, for the promotion. It is doesn't matter that if you have a good, good position, doesn't mean that you will always occupy the position. Your position, if benefits someone, that matters. So positivity by mm -hmm. your own action, not only create energy in your body system, create energy to charge your aura that is surrounding your this uh, physical body, definitely this positive energy will encharge the aura with a positive influence and the persons who will come in your contact, you will benefit through your knowledge domain, through your aura. And it will not only improve your health as well, it will improve the spiritual level that is in and around you. It is my own feeling. It is not, uh, spirituality is not taught. It is, it is, it is world, it is realized. And you have made a very wonderful effort to connect the health and spirituality. And uh, I, there are, if you go through the lot of, uh, a lot of uh, means uh, Sanskrit uh, couplets are there because Sanskrit, you know, Sanskrit is one of the oldest language of this planet earth. And Sanskrit, we believe that, that it is the, it is the creator of all the languages that is available in India. So there are a number of month, uh, couplets in Sanskrit. Once you listen for a five minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes, the chanting of mantras, definitely it creates energy. The chanting of mantras that creates energy, the vibration that is created, it creates the aura level, it charges your aura level through the chanting phenomena. And due to this one, the effort, the dedication, devotion, emotions, whatever you are paying, for promoting 
your own uh, uh, energy level definitely it will improve your spiritual aspect your your approach for the human welfare it is the one first and foremost criteria health will automatically will improve you may see a lot of people those who are having a selfish nature those who are always in such a in such a in in a mode to grab the positions to don't try to provide the platform to harass the people just to do, show their dominance dominance is not by force dominance through by heart if somebody accept you as a guru as your teacher mm-hmm. automatically respect will come respect can't be earned by force respect can't mm-hmm. be earned by pressure respect you, uh, you actually it comes through the inner heart once your heart says that the person deserves for that automatically you will you will pay respect and you will get definitely the blessings from the persons so a very nice topic rajane you have uh, 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 raised here discussed here so i will ask my fellow colleague dr tan and other persons those who want to say something about health and spirituality or would like to ask with you so i would like to permit open the channel for the discussion dr tan or dr lilia if you want to say dr uh, zenaida if you want to say something yeah. Rajan is here. Please. Let me say a uh, uh, gratitude to uh, Rajan uh, because uh, the things that she talks about uh, spirituality is uh, very much about the me trying to transcend and understanding. Uh, but uh, Rajan uh, mentioned something very important, which is the correlation, which is the relationship between me and the world. So uh, uh, I think uh, if we want to want to pro- proceed with uh, spirituality, uh, not only uh, focusing on in, uh, the me, but also focusing on uh, how we can uh, make a better world, and 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 uh, and and not only focusing on the world, but also focusing on uh, our relationship between the world. Uh, that 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 is a, a very special uh, uh, theme that I uh, get from uh, Rajani. Uh, so thank thank you very much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lilia, please. Ma'am, this really very needful information because nowadays uh, in such technological world, uh, I guess uh, our spiritual spirituality is slowed down and it's falling down, and that's why we ought to talk about because uh, we ought to find the new ways uh, of solving all this problem. Because uh, I think that uh, if you have low spirituality, you you have problems with your health, you have problems with your mind, uh, you have problems. Uh, with your attitude to the world that's why that's very needful thanks a lot you're great and by the way i uh, during the uh, three days conference uh, conference i understood that girls can talk the most bad about spirituality than men <laughs> boys sorry but girls know better thanks a lot <laughs> thank you <laughs> yeah anyone else uh, uh, i would like to comment uh, on Sir. Yeah, please, please, please. Actually, uh, uh, Regina Dutra has uh, described that health is holistic or integral, and it is true too. But disease, I felt, is specific because the violation of holistic is the or the negation of holistic is the uh, disease that is actually specific. For example. Uh, acidity if acidity comes our stomach will be disturbed and the treatment or caring is two way specific to acidity that is uh, for example we should not take acidity increasing food and at the same time we should counter dot we should give that uh, reduces acidity and that way i would like to judge in this way health is integral or holistic but disease is specific and particular
Mm-hmm. So, George, you want to say something more, or uh, that's yeah, that's that all. is only sir. Okay, okay, Doctor uh, Professor Zenaida, we want to listen your comment. Lilia, please support. Я не їду Богданівна. Містер Панкай запитується ваше бачення, представлення пані Реджані. Чекай, скажи від мене, що виступ цікавий, чудовий, дуже змістовний, і він мені дуже сподобався. Я дуже рада за неї, і думаю, що її успіхи в майбутньому будуть ще кращими. Uh, Professor Zinaida said uh, that uh, n- this uh, presentation was like a performance because uh, the need pool uh, and uh, the relationship between health and spirituality is very uh, close uh, one another and uh, she wish uh, the, the, all the best in the future science uh, articles uh, to uh, Ms. Rajani and she also said as me that a uh, girl knows better about spirituality. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot. Frank. I think I think MP Singh sir is a Dr. MP Singh sir. Your 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 area is directly connected with this domain. Health uh, sure. quality, please, sir. Thank you, sir. Five Very minutes, sir. Five minutes for you, sir. Five or four. Sir. Okay, talking about health and spirituality. It's a wonderful topic indeed, and it's very well delivered. Uh, Rajane Dutraji, it was excellent presentation from your side. But just to add a few points, though they have been covered most of them, health it should not be taken as the physical health only. Health is the holistic health. When we say holistic health, it would mean the four domains. Four domains would mean the physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual aspects. A man is healthy physically, but if he's not, he's mentally imbecile. He cannot reasonably think, so he, we cannot call him healthy. If he's healthy physically, and he's good at his mental faculties, but if he's rude, his behavior is rude, emotionally he is sick or toxic, we cannot call him healthy. Similarly, mm-hmm. if he's okay at three domains, that he is physically healthy, he is mentally okay, he is emotionally okay, but he is hurtful to other people and do not, he does not regard other people as human beings and brings harm to other people deliberately or otherwise, he is not spiritually balanced. So we have to look at health holistically at all the four domains. Now, without going into many details, the whole story revolves around our thought. People say our thoughts are what Buddha says, and he said about 2,500 years ago, whatever we think we become. If we think we become sick, and if we can bring bring sickness to ourselves by our thoughts, we can also bring health because of our thoughts. Now, where do the thoughts come from? Thoughts come from from our experiences, the information that we gather, and the belief systems. So there is a need to unlearn and learn again our belief systems. So we need to change our belief system. We need to have access to the information which is good for our uh, conscience, our physical and mental aspects. So all those things have to be changed. And one has to adopt at least one or two techniques whereby we can enhance energy in our system by the energy method systems. It could be Reiki, it could be meditation, it could be anything. If we cannot do any of those things, then we can at least resort to being good, a good human being, doing good for others. Whether we understand spirituality or not, it does not matter. Let's do good for others and the goodness will return because universe returns to you whatever you give to others. So these are a few things. This is how we connect the spirituality with health. So we ought to be taking care of all four aspects including uh, Professor Pankaj had said that if you go into the Sanskrit shlokas, there's a wealth of information given as to how we can keep healthy at all four levels. So it is our choice. It's an inclusive domain, how we can be healthy, connecting the spirituality. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Professor. Thanks, MP Singh, sir. And nice information I think you have shared with the Rajane Dutra. And definitely this information will support her to improve the the presentation, because uh, the MP Singh is one of the expert in the field of the spirituality. Oh, please, please. <laughs> please. Spirituality connecting with the health. Yeah. Definitely, it is uh, the the face. I think the MP Singh sir, the face automatically reflects the each and everyone's individual personality. A shining face, 
with a good uh, approach to the society and each and every one with always ready to support and provide the possible help definitely the the the, the work whatever he has contributed for the society it automatically recharge or charge him which is my own perception whatever you have said that if you help others you, universe will support you we are the I, in other words i quoted the if you are helping others so god is there he is looking that what you are doing it means if you are supporting everyone so he is there to support you in what way nobody knows what way will be there so a nice contribution nice suggestion mp singh sir has made and uh, 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 Rajani has provided me a point that to develop an intelligent system uh, to connect the health and spirituality. If someone who is performing the spirituality at a different level, how this health feature is to be uh, analyzed? So definitely soon we will prepare this uh, research article, and hopefully in any one of the program that Dr. Rasooli will organize. because dr rasulni will uh, used to organize a number of programs connected with the spirituality so definitely would like to share all these in the forthcoming program of the uh, professor rasulni professor rasulni you are here yes i am here good evening okay, for okay. everybody oh your your views is required regarding health and spirituality your views is essential because you have conducted a number of programs on spirituality Yeah, and I'm proud of my people. <laughs> yes, yes, for, for sure. That. Look at Hejani, so great presentation today. Yeah, it's a pleasure to listen to her sharing this knowledge. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, um, in fact, my feelings exactly now. is to thank you thank you everybody here for the opportunity to listen to you and to be joined in this event that's my exactly feeling now and also the possibility to show what we are doing in brazil what are the, what we are doing our work at unifavest Yes, uh, I just I just have to say that my feeling is gratitude, and I know the whole family at Unifavest. This is the feeling we are feeling, the possibility to thank you to be here and the share knowledge. Share platform. that is what is possible. Yes. So and the video is ready. <laughs> yeah, please. We are waiting for your video. Okay, yes, so now uh, it is a pleasure to us present a glimpse of we have at Unifavest. Yes. It's uh, not. I have a better video at Lages, but I I am far from Lages at this moment. So, yeah, sure. I hope one day we'll be physically here at, at our project. central campus. Sure, sure. Oops. And it is slow. Yeah. Just wait. Internet is slow. Just wait. We it will be. Not to. No, it is okay. I'm not sure if it is. I have the other possibility. Check. Também em cima pede para abrir o vídeo, Alcione. 
Oi? Em cima tá pedindo para abrir o vídeo. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Não? Can you see this? Yes. Rajkrishna Mandal, can you do it? Okay. This one you see? Ah, uh, yeah. Are you see? Yes. Yes? Yes. Oh, okay. It is you. Passing out your cellulite. Talking about the PhD degree. Okay. That's not a good option. He has no sound on this view. Okay. Just you images. Have... Just images in this. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the first option will have sound. Sorry for that. Anyway, we hope one day we will be here with us physically. Sure, sure. Situation be normal. We all will try to reach your place and we'll be there. Yeah. yeah. What, I what I told you is that we are a private institution, but, are, but we are the best one in Brazil, according to the Minister of Education. We have more than 100 polls of distance education in the whole Brazil. We are starting soon one in Nigeria and Africa, and we have two master's programs, all graduation courses physically in presential education. We have journals, we have an, a press, we have All uh, institution, the superior high education institution should be, yes, including all of us. 
what is the most important in a high education? The minds. The minds that are in the corridors, that are working around. That what is the re what is really important in a high education institution. We have Rejanis, we have Robertas, Beatriz, Ricardos, Leonardos. That's what is important for us. Roberta and, is also here. Yes, and then and the people as you, as we are sharing emotion, including at this moment. Yeah, I know, you, we know our value is what is important is we are enlarging the world. Yes. Thanks, uh, Professor Arsaloni, your views. If you want to some, say something more, because whatever you are doing, I'm watching since the last one year. Um, tremendous, tremendous effort you are making to organize the program, to pass on the education to all the persons, to expand the domain, to have an interaction. And first time I realized that you are very emotional today. Otherwise, every time you are laughing, you are enjoying, you are smiling. And I appreciate, yeah. I respect your emotions that what you shared here. Uh, Roberto is also here. If she want to say something, please, Roberto, because uh, Professor Arceloni is very emotional today. Roberto, please. Yeah, I, 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 I agree with Arceloni that uh, we are the, the most important and provide a university in Brazil and it's not just Arcelani and I that I, I say in that because MEC, that is our Ministry of Education, say it too. So, is in the, and I agree with Arcelani when she said that is not uh, about uh, the uh, education itself, it's about people, and we have that. To we have Arcelonis, Robertas, Rejanis, and everything else. And we have emotion, and that is more important thing that and we have this all the time. And this COVID has provided us as an opportunity to connect with each other, sitting across yes. the world, sharing the common feelings. Each and everyone is fully devoted, either myself, Professor Tan, Professor Arceloni, Professor Maria, Professor uh, uh, Zenaida the Lilia, Roberta, Ajnela, uh, our uh, each and every fellow colleague, each and everyone with the same motto, this uh, pandemic has provided us an opportunity to connect. Mm -hmm. All of those, all the people yeah. who are having the common feelings, Dr. M.P. Singh as well, each and everyone, our my president, B.S. Best, Fatima, he, number of names are there, we all invited for a common cause and we with a single motto to help each and everyone, whatever be the domain concerned with the academics, we are always ready to provide the platform. Unified West, Fetter Academy of India, Lviv University and other colleges, those who are with a common motive, myself, my Team, entire team, FAI team is always ready to support, to always ready to collaborate, to conduct the various academic programs on the various issues. I am saying just what the other day, once I was talking with the Springer South Asian head, because earlier he said that I would like to address the audience. And then he talked to me, sir, this is not my own domain because spirituality is concerned and spirituality is not my own domain, but I'm surprised that this is the first international conference as per my own observation that all of you are doing an international conference concerned with the topic associated with the concerned with the theme of spirituality either it is connected with the health connected with the education connected with the tourism connected with the science and technology you are all of you are what a wonderful job you are doing no university come forward to discuss to develop to organize such kind of program because they are very much worried that who will be the speaker. 
but here we have a very good number of speaker each and every one is ready to cooperate to support to share the knowledge domain and in my team general mp singh is the leader of the spirituality related issues general mp singh please because because you because once first time once i came in the contract of general mp singh i am person working in the design and development of intelligent system concerned with the artificial intelligence once i started discussion so that moment he shared a lot of things related with the spiritual intelligence and this was my first encounter with the spiritual intelligence related issues and gradually lot of things i learned from general mp singh gradually i learned from each and every one i i always believe that you will have to learn throughout your life from wherever whatever be the place whoever be the person something each and every one definitely has some good amount of knowledge try to try to learn try to listen try to uh, to discuss with him so that your knowledge level may enhance dr tan is here i also discussing a lot of issues concerned with the he has already worked in the industry had been he is a best fellow who is industry academy of collaboration so dr Ta dr mp singh uh, today uh, professor arsoloni become very emotional first time i saw and this emotion is not due to the other this is due to the contribution whatever job she is doing and one thing more i would like to add i always inspire through the person none other than dr b3 is what everywhere she is visible the hard work she used to do imagine uh, it, it is uh, unimaginable what can i say that mm -hmm. i don't know how she is managing everywhere she is visible and i think <laughs> he always she always credit me sir this is the the you provided me the first platform in during this pandemic and gradually i became a very popular i don't know every time she quoted that is it is you who has initiated this uh, phenomena to initiated it provided me a first platform to discuss with the fai i think during the month of may uh, first time uh, b3s came in picture and even then we are chatting a lot and that moment she shared and this was the first uh, uh, lecture she delivered with uh, the, i think that topic was also concerned with the spirituality related spirituality and management something like that so each and every one see here each and every one professor zenaida day and night continuously sitting with us six or seven hours during the month of november we organized the conference nine hours he was continuously sitting with us we started the program two o'clock morning uh, afternoon and finished by 11 30 i think professor is arsalani you are there the yes, day I was. Professor, yeah you are there professor arsalani the way you are there professor elja beth was there and professor zenaida continuously sitting since uh, 2 p.m to 11 30. and, and we was... just stop cross the time yeah for sure we have one two three hours more to talk about yeah. it was fantastic it was a journey of knowledge yeah. yes 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 so we I are starting I can it, see we that. are starting dr pankaj hmm. what what is our a kind of marriage a kind of connection as you said it is karma yeah, and karma, we are yes. here yes. thanks yes. pandemic situation for the possibility to join all yes. our people sure and it has given us a, war, a wonderful platform we all are connected the day will come when we all will be visible at your place or at india are at Lviv University, Ukraine. Professor Maria is also here. Professor yes, Maria, she is. Would you like to say something? Maria Emilia is here. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Professor Pankaj. Yeah. Professor Pankaj. Yeah. Yeah. for sure is a miracle of God. She totally visible all day, whole time. <laughs> all day, all time. That's why I said. Professor Pankaj yes. is very, very uh, is congratulations. Uh, your organization is very, very organization. It's very important. This event. It's congrat uh, my congratulations. You, uh, your equipe organization. Uh, as emotions that Arceloni revealed, the importance is uh, of the uh, worker group is very important. 
Então, um, congratulations a lot, very, thank you a lot. Thanks, thanks. Welcome, welcome, Professor yeah. Beatrice. Your, your, because Mr. you... Pankai, можно я ще два слова? First of all, I want to thank you all of my colleagues because of the fact that you, Professor, you united us from different continents, from different ends, not only in our Ukraine, but also in India, in Thailand, in Brazil, in Portugal. So you united us in a big, big family. First of all, I want to thank you very much І я надію, що далі ми будемо всі разом групуватися і дійсно творити науку. Лілічка, переведи хоч щось. Окей. Професор Зінаїда asked to say words of thanks to професор Панкай, and she said, I'm just joking. Uh, our Professor Pankai is like the Bluetooth. He is connecting all us from an, around the world. <laughs> uh, so um, you really do a huge job and we think a lot about that. And uh, we hope that um, our cooperation um, gonna move on and move on and we gonna grow up and grow up things a lot. And by the way, Professor Pankai, girls, just only girls, can say such uh, wonderful words. Just only girls can say such warm wishes of thanks, not like boys. Yes, girls. <laughs> we have two men. <laughs> but Leonardo... It doesn't Leonardo matter. Went, but we so are here. Why about spirituality, about the connection with health and spirituality, it's better than those girls. Okay. <laughs> but I'm... Really joking. I just wanted a Professor Arceloni uh, smile, please. Yeah. I am please, smiling. I am very so in happy. Smile, please. Very in smile because my is emotion the best for you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. My emotion is just happiness. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. great. Yes, yes, yes. Joy. That's, that's what I feel. The happiness that. that and makes, I have to say that we are very young institution. Brazil is young. We are 500 years. And my institution is 200 kilometers far from the capital of the state. 200 kilometers, but we spend three hours to get there because we have a very difficult road. Uh, a very ancient road. It start with moose, horses, People transporting food for people that live in the interior of the state. And in this situation, 22 years ago, our institution starts. We have to mention Professor Giovanni Brering and his wife, Soraya Erpen Brering. They were visionary and start a university that don't have fees too high, but possible to ordinary people pay mentally. And this is one part of make Univavest great for us. We are spread high institution from people that came from a large kilometers from us, including Beatrice lives 200 to the south, far from the central campus and take a bus every day at the physical times to, to get the campus. Oh. Yes, go and, and back every day. For oh. example, Fatima that is here, live in Florianopolis, 200, 200 kilometers far from the central campus. Me the same, Roberta, Rejane. So we are very interested, we are joined. And when I say what makes Unifavest great, includes you, includes you. Yeah, that's what we mean enlarging the frontiers for our yes. students. Dr. Pankaj, Dr. Singh had the opportunity last year to speak to our students. It is fantastic. We had COVID, 
a mundial, yeah. a planetary event. It, it was really great. And yeah. you had this opportunity. And we have to say thank you to everybody, especially Dr. Pankaj, who is a close friend for me. Every day I think on him. It no. is part of my family, it is part of our day. Yeah. Um, part of family. Yes. The whole and FAI family. This is the whole. Because we family. really think, everyone here thinks for sure that it is not the structure. And I spoke before, as Roberta mentioned again, it's that is people that make an institution great. Yes. Not everything, not the structure, the labs, the corridors, the books on the library. We could have this structure everywhere in the world, everywhere in the world. If we don't have this, we don't have nothing. We have nothing. And this drawing, this connection, the possibility Professor Giovanni Breri and his wife made 21 years ago is what we have nowadays. Yes. So People that are quoted. agents. That's you rightly quoted, building furniture that doesn't matter. The luminaries are the faculty members, the persons, those who are day and night contributing whatever they have in the field of education, the knowledge domain, whatever they have. So gradually, these stars makes an institution an excellent one. We have seen. So what we are doing here, definitely, those who are associated with us, either Dr. Tan, Professor Dr. M.P. Singh, Professor B.S. Based, Professor P.K. Shravastwa, a lot of fellow colleagues from FAI family, from Unifac Fest family, from the Ukraine, each and every one. Now, in a single family, definitely, whenever we discuss any issue, immediately we connect. Okay, the social media is there for a connection. So anything we want to discuss, okay, we want to organize a program on spirituality, immediately we connect it and share. Just now I shared with you, okay, please come. Within half an hour, we are going to start. So immediate. So this connection, it automatically, I think uh, uh, this gives a, our intuition is directly associated. We feel each other, we think about. So a lot of things are there to say. I think, uh, let us say uh, my... Organizing Secretary yes. Joseph Wilson yes, is ready yes. for the next, uh, next session. Uh, please, Dr. Joseph Wilson, we have discussed a lot related with the, and we have seen the overwhelm emotions of Professor Arsalun. Whatever she is doing, marvelous for the gratefulness, for the society, for the institution, for everywhere. Every ever ready to okay. support. Thank you for the interaction. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Now I invite Dr. Jar Joseph to chair the session. Dr. George. Good evening to you all. Uh, I am very happy to introduce uh, the next uh, speaker, Dr. M. Jayanti. She started her career as assistant professor of psychology as our colleague, and I am immensely I am immensely happy to welcome her. Actually, while she was working with us, she, her choice was counseling and guidance. And when an opportunity comes, she has opted to be a psychologist for uh, jail, uh, for the reformation of the convicts. Sorry to use the term convicts because she prefers to call them inmates because they are like her family members. Her experience she would be sharing with us. Welcome, Ms. Jayanti. Thank you, thank you, sir. It's my immense pleasure to join with you. First of all, I thank each and everyone for giving this opportunity to share my experience. I am in this field for past seven years and this paper is based on my experience with the inmates. You want to present it? Yes, sir. Please, sir, present. 
My paper is on reformation on prison inmates through spirituality. So just I tell something about the prison and the inmates, then I will go to the spirituality side, how they reform through the spiritual practices. So prison is an, now we call it as an institution. It is a place who has been remanded in custody by judicial authority for some period. And then for conviction, it is proved as a crime. And now the prison is called as a correctional institution. For the past two months back in Tamil Nadu prison, the department is converted as a department of prisons and correctional institutions. They are held in the prison for two purposes, for the punishment and the rectification. That is one thing is to punish the prison, prisoner and then to protect the society against the potential changer to the life, liberty and property of the members from the criminals. That is one thing is protect the society from the criminals. And another thing is to provide opportunity for the criminal for in introspection and rehabilitation. So it now the prisoner is a legal term. Now they are called as an inmate. That is the person who live with the other person in one place, both male, female and adolescent inmates. So simply when they enter into the prison, they are nothing. That is their identity is lost. Everything is lost. That is everything is designed by the officials only. Where they have to sleep, where they have to, what they have to eat, what they have to do. So everything will be designed by the officials. So prison is a psychological punishment. It attacks the soul. It attacks the heart, the thoughts, the will and everything will be affected. So we simply say you are nothing. So in the life in the prison, the first thing they lost liberty. Nowadays in the prison, in the rehabilitation reformation program, we do many things to the inmates. But the first thing they lost the liberty, they cut off from the mainstream society. So the communication with others, everything will be lost. The first thing will be of the liberty. Then the meaningful social relationship with the family, with the friends, with the society will be lost. And the responsibility also will be lost. It will be changed. They lost the contact with the outside world. And they are in a forced dependency. As I told you that they have to depend each and everything for the officials, the other inmates for everything. They feel that emptiness will be there. Nothing in their life. Sometimes they feel boredom, enforced idleness, nothing in their life, lack of privacy. So you mean at any time they are under search with no intimation, no information. The people working in the prison, they search. Sometimes the police from outside also come inside and search the property. Everything will be searched. When they enter into the prison, the gate itself, after searching only, they are admitted inside. So no privacy is there. And for the future, there is an insecurity. After the release, what can we do? When we will release? So lot of insecurity in the future aspects. So the main objective of the prisonization or the incarceration is the reformation, rehabilitation and the reintegration. So the correctional as an aspect of correction, we are moving through these three things. So reformation is the reorienting, in, in that is integrating into the prison life. The second rehabilitation is they are restoring to the previous condition and reintegration, reintegrate into the society. See so what is reformation is in outside world, they are in one form. 
they have they have full freedom they any time wake up they have some other work they have family so everything will be there they are in one form when they are entered into the prison they have to change their form that is reforming once again the form is changed as they have to get up at 5 o'clock they have fallen for the roll call uh, 7:30 breakfast then work the school studies like that they have to adapt to the prison setup that is the first thing what we are doing is the reformation forming into the prison setup is the first objective then after they included into the prison process then slowly rehabilitation started rehabilitation is a it is the time to heal it is the action of restoring something to the previous condition or status that is restoring for the better it is the process of internal change brought about by external agents so rehabilitation is the prisoner's upliftment program that is to change the criminals into law abiding citizens the rehabilitation takes place through education life skills vocational skills and then job oriented courses are there mechanical courses so many courses are there and spiritual practices also there so in this paper i focused on the spiritual practices so they are shaped and transformed by the institution environment in which they live that is in the prison system setup itself they have to shape and they have to transform the life it is through education employment and other activities then educational includes infinite and invaluable ways of enriching individuals spiritually culturally socially economically and personally in the education we have the school system they can every each and every one has to read and write learn to read and write then next will be they have to complete 8th standard 10th standard 11th 12th and college education indira gandhi open university tamil nadu open university annamalai university they provide free education for the reformation so the spiritual practices inside the present setup will be of a prayer worshiping the preaching teaching bhagavad gita the some sources outside they came inside the prison and do these practices the krishna group they teach bhagavad gita moral values and each and every one have the freedom to the respect the religious values uh, yoga regularly most of the inmates do yoga bhakti yoga they chant mantras they do meditation observe fasting and other ceremonies which straight away touch one's minds and consciousness the officials as well as the other inmates they give full freedom for each and every one to practice their values so what the spirituality how we transform will be it acts as a protective factor for the inmates most of them when they came inside the prison they have the fear they have the anxiety they have the worry they don't know what to do slowly sometimes they told that as it is the god's desire to be there in that so it protects them from the depression or the stress most of the time suicide and suicide ideation are avoided by the spirituality two days back also one inmate he is admitted for the murder case when he went into the court they he came to know that his wife is also arrested with the child then he cried there itself after that when he came inside the prison slowly he himself transferred and told that i think it's the god's desire for my wife to be in the prison last week only she met an accident so to protect only god make him to came inside so most of the time the faith they have acts as the protective factor then their identity their identity will be broken their identity will be a shattered identity identity will be forced identity 
since as i told that they are nothing their identity will be lost he is most of the time called by the number only even though he is a father he is a husband he is the son but in when he came inside the prison he is an inmate or a prisoner and most of the time we call them by a number so there his identity is a number so slowly is the spirituality or the spiritual practices allow them to deviate from their old lifestyle and become a functional member of the society and it has a very good effect on the physical health mental health though this can be difficult to outwardly quantify or demonstrate so many present studies are not there and the research work was, was not there so just what i observe from the i hear share many of them do yoga which is a good for the physical health as well as the mental health then next will be the spiritual practices helps them to come out from the uh, drugs alcohol abuses opioids cocaines like that and many crimes happen when they use at the time of the alcohol or the cocaine cannabis like that only many told that this thing if i don't use that the crime will not be happen so through these practices slowly they come out from the usage of the alcohol and other things and in the spiritual practices the meditation the far observing fast that makes them to become think about himself and reflect so the silence they are observing makes lot of changes inside them so the meditation they try to go into the inner journey they try to analyze them they try to reflect what they are doing then how to respond how to react like that many introspection will be happen so through introspection they realize what they do it wrong and it helps to transform their life so in this practice the silence is the best medicine for the transformation or the reformation and it helps to hope anger stress anxiety other other things when we ask about how the crime happens like that and last time in the general amnesty we try to analyze what is the cause what is the reason like that most of them told that the second one second anger make us to be in the prison for 15 years 20 years 25 years like that and the word what others say will trigger anger and that anger makes them for the crime and due to that anger their life completely will be changed because of him his family also affected so after entering the prison after the realization after the lot of reformation most of them told that there is no anger if somebody hit also somebody beat also we just leave the place and the stress inside the prison is a very stress because of the loss of independence he is the breadwinner of the family the family will suffer that suffering also will affect him so the stress will be reduced and most of the the institutions or the people who help for the spiritual practices help the family also so the stress will be reduced the anxiety what will happen next he is uncertain about the future he is uncertain about what will happen next so this anxiety will be reduced so these things will happen due to the practices and most of them follow the discipline their record will be good they have a better disciplinary record the most of them they do yoga or exercise in the morning as well as in the evening they take bath in the morning take bath in the evening also we told that we are not able to do anything but you are doing correctly regularly they practice yoga they practice meditation and each and every religion for example for ramzan for the 27 days they observe fasting and the officials and the setup will do everything 
help for observing the fasting other prisoners also help them uh, for the christianity for the hinduism so for each and every religion we do everything so discipline will come automatically and they told that when after the release also we all say follow the same discipline what we follow inside the prison so after the release also we heard from the released prisoners now we are doing good job we are not using alcohol we are doing yoga meditation like that so the disciplinary record will be improved and based on this their cooperation level will be improved that is they do as a group they help each other they coordinate the programs uh, now also for 15 days uh, one institution is uh, doing the online yoga program so at 9:30 they have to be here one will coordinate the activities and they organize each other they respect each other the hatred will be eliminated and the helping tendency will be improved and they are proactive first they are reactive without listening without responding they react easily after that they are proactive so these things are improved and self transformation will takes place that is they analyze so through the analysis through the inner journey through the reflecting the transformation automatically will be there most of them as i told their anger will be reduced or eliminated whatever the thing which leads to the criminal behavior will be slowly reduced and they are transformed that is the self transformation and the, it is the process of creating our self so we have seen it directly and the impact of rehabilitation that is after interacting with the prisoners just i will note down the information from the inmates they feel calm the first they feel stressed they feel tensed they feel confused state and the first one week after the admission they don't know what to do so at that time we slowly entered into the these programs so they feel calm after practicing the programs and the meditations they feel confident and they told that we feel confident about the future and each and every one who do yoga or meditation they told that we have interest to teach others also and when they went for the parole leave they practice yoga as a whole family they have three days six days and the parole leave and sometimes uh, and ig permitted they have two years once one month leave they can stay with the family so in that period they practice yoga as a whole family they get new meaning in the life they love people they love their life they love himself so these are the self transformation takes place through the practices their attitude towards the life has changed many is having that they do harm to us so i i have to do harm so like that attitude will be changed and the perception of the life also will be changed they redefine their own reality that is what i have told us an identity they redefine the identity and the revenge attitude will be removed one time for five years back when i joined the institution uh one religious people came and asked the question who is having the revenge attitude to kill the people who do harm to you two inmates immediately raised the hand that we are having the revenge attitude and whenever we come out the prison i will kill that person then slowly through the meditation and the analysis like that they completely change it and that inmate now released and lead a very good life after that and that, that ex inmate he completely stopped non vegetarian alcohol he used to talk very calmly very softly his approach will changed completely 
and he observed fasting as well as the some other things and everyone will help this this inmate i have seen directly how this helps to change him like that lot of people they change their life and many they told that many opportunities open to me before that they have a lot of confusion that what will i do when i go outside uh, practically it is difficult to get job after the release they are physically weak they are mentally weak and they don't know whether others will give job like that also since in any place they ask what you do earlier if he told that i am in the prison then they said no to the job so after that they have the confidence that i have some other opportunity i create my own job and i lead the life so these are some impact after the practices so i think just i simply explain in my experience what are the reformation practices and the spiritual practices what are happen inside the tamil nadu prisons and the impact of the rehabilitation uh, dr jayanti thank yes, you sir. for your wonderful presentation based on your experience thank and you. when you presented i play i felt you are uh, what's called the jail is the most secure a place and lot of or plenty of time is available there uh, and now open to open to the, uh, for discussion i just want to share a gratitude to professor jayanti uh that he, you taught us uh, and share with us uh, that uh, prison uh, is really an entire school of intellectual discipline and and also a socio technical uh, system it's some you know everything is so, so much things in the prisons that we have to understand and we you know your efforts uh, seeing uh, through uh, how people uh, get transformed from one end to another end how they uh, transform from the negative psychology uh, to the positive psychology so uh, the so called uh, prisoners uh, as uh, it's as the, uh, you know uh, psychological weakness uh, or we are taking away all the psychological capital is uh, has been transformed to a psychological uh, asset of the of, of not only the prisoners but also for the society because once they are rehabilitated and transform and reformed uh, they uh, becomes uh, 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 they, they contribute to the society uh, in various perspectives so thank you very much for teaching us a very wonderful a uh, prisoner uh, social technical system thank you thank you thank you sir dr jayanti so yeah dr mp singh you want to say something please unmute your mic sir it was indeed a wonderful presentation very insightful learned a lot and it touched my heart as well to see that a lot is happening in tamil nadu and tamil nadu jails with regard to reformation of the prisoners i think they have taken a great approach of reprogramming the human mind our mind is programmable and reprogrammable mind is the best friend the worst enemy and most trainable and we can always train it again and that is by the method of rewiring the brain and firing it together rewiring and firing it together by the neuroplasticity process now when they touch the inner of the man over a period of time he is immersed in that environment and in man is the product of the environment in that environment if they are being taught about spirituality about certain practices about meditation and such like techniques obviously it impacts the man over a period of time and from the external discipline which is imposed upon him initially which he resists it becomes part of his intrinsic discipline and he wants to do it himself 
as you brought out that he wants to do yoga and he does yoga this family when he goes on parole leave so this is the kind of impression and the impact it makes on a man's mind and ultimately we all have to whether we are inmates or not they are inmates by force let us also get into this practice of embracing spirituality for betterment as we have seen as the experimentation that has happened in the jails the people change people get transformed if people can get transformed in the jail why can't you and i to my mind i would also go a step further and say we can institute such measures in schools for children for faculty members to make it compulsory for the students in the college and the professors can make a lot of difference in their lives because they are the future citizens and they are the future humanity so we can take the cue from the prisons that if the inmates in the prison can be reformed and transformed and intrinsically changed for the good of the society then perhaps we can take a cue from here and change the humanity and this our responsibility uh, as they interact with you on daily basis you can influence their personality the inner character personality is something that we see outside character is what they really inside are so definitely it helps to change people and spirituality is a very good way of changing people the inmates and it's a very good study that you brought out thank you so much so much to carry from here thank you thank you sir yes dr jayanti uh, i think uh, you are alone uh, doing this kind of practice in inmates for inmates or your group is also working in the tamil nadu prison a correctional team is there as a psychologist welfare officer social care case work expert and they are from government appointment and two counselors are there then okay. other ngos they will come inside and they help us for the reformation process and all the borders and the police staff also act as a correctional staff only they are not as the police outside each and every one is supportive to the inmate only so as a team we are doing this okay okay so these inmates so whether they prefer yoga first or they prefer meditation they prefer yoga then after that only then first they start it as a form of a simple exercise okay then slowly we practice the breathing or yoga okay then then the meditation phases comes yes and mostly they are from the village sites in tamil nadu in the southern sites okay uh, they are not known about the yoga or the exercise are like that so slowly we have to inculcate them yes because uh, meditation it is a difficult one in the early yes. phases at the early phases i'd say yoga they can do it but uh, and like pranayama and other things i think they may that moment they may face some issues because uh, practicing the exercises that is good yes but uh, meditation normal are breathing the, exercise normal breathing exercises mm. yes yeah that day professor raktam dislova said <coughs> that the india is the country where we learn through the breathing science a lot of things are associated with the breathing okay. science so very wonderful job and definitely you are improving the uh just uh, as mp singh quoted that we can uh, reprogram the human mind as per the environment that you are going to create either with the support of yoga or meditation or the practices that you are preferring them for reprogramming wonderful effort dr jayanti we are grateful to for your contribution thank you thank you sir any other fellow want to ask vandutingla onna sir okay okay thank you thank you dr jayanti actually it was a very insightful presentation and also very lucid and simple our approach to the prisoners as well as the prison staff i think we may have to have a different approach i think after we hear from you uh, thank you very much and thank you for your insightful presentation thank you thank you thank you for the opportunity sir thank you thank you dr jar joseph to share the session as well as dr m jayanti for his wonderful presentation thank you very much uh, i think dr pankaj sir uh, i think the technical sessions are now over i think yeah i think we should proceed for the and next session
can we go for validatory uh, function yeah yeah yes 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 please proceed sir. okay okay judge sir please. yeah we shall move to the validatory session i request dr shanmugaraj dean academic arlanandar college to welcome the gathering respected uh, dignitaries of the international conference good day to all of you am i audible yes 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 okay okay sir thank you uh, for the past three days we have been listening to the interesting lectures of uh, eminent speakers on spirituality in this uh, 23rd uh, fai international conference 2021 online on emerging trends and adaptation of spirituality in management artificial intelligence education health tourism science and technology now we are towards the closer of the conference uh, that is valedictory function i am immensely happy to welcome all of you to this valedictory function a small cheer and a great welcome make a merry feast i feel privileged to welcome all of you to this valedictory function first of all i am uh, pleased to welcome professor p k srivastava former president fei who is going to deliver the chief guest address welcome you professor the fragrance of flowers spread only in the direction of the wind but the goodness of a person spreads in all directions i am happy to welcome professor b s bish president fei who will deliver presidential remark welcome you professor next i am delighted to welcome the guest of honor dr zinaido zivko liu state university ukraine dr akralo akraloni newsa valbacho fac west university brazil major general dr m p singh vice president fei welcome you the guest of honors next i welcome professor choi ching tan vice president fei thailand and professor raghuraman fei executive council member they will be presenting a review of this 23rd fei international conference 2021 welcome you professors next i am happy to welcome the organizing secretaries of this wonderful conference dr m george joseph head of the department of philosophy arlanandar college india and dr roberto somavilla and dr sioli rid zambruski from university brazil they will be presenting their feedbacks of this conference welcome you professors i am also happy to welcome the organizing secretary dr k s joseph wilson head of the department of physics arlanandar college india who will present a report of this three day online conference welcome you sir i am immensely happy to welcome the organizing secretary professor pangaj srivatsava i'm sorry general secretary fei for this valedictory function welcome you professor next i welcome all other participants and dignitaries of this uh, conference once again i welcome you welcome all of you thank you thank you dr shanmugaraj you are wonderful welcome thank even you. with the philosophical words thank you shanmugaraj thank now, you now we had actually some informal sharing now at a few more may have some feedback to share with the, now open to the participants to give their feedback
if really i would like to say then, something about the program hello sir shall we move to the feedback that is to be given by the organizing secretaries uh, i think first of all is, yes sir yeah uh, i think uh, if some of the participant be ready to share their yeah data, okay welcome sir so definitely delia would you like to share something about uh, this conference yes um we've just uh, talked with, Pro with professor zinaida and uh, we want to say a uh, very interesting thing you know when you watch a movie uh and it's so interesting it's so exciting and you watch it again and again but no movie is over just in two hours so did our meeting as a movie i st uh, uh, we still want to listen to learn to learn something new uh, but conference is over the end of our three days uh, film is definitely a, a contribution uh, to the science uh, yeah, as all uh, reports and uh, uh, in, uh, in their fields Uh, everything changed over time except so i that in that point you get a positive and also you know you new approaches new vision that's why we are writing our film so let's create the science thanks a lot to all participants you are well you were very great okay okay george please joseph please go ahead Uh, now is the uh, organizing secretaries uh, give their brief uh, uh, feedback first of all i shall uh, i shall give my feedback for the last two, three days we were enjoying the coming togetherness of fateh family physical distance was not a hindrance in feeling the presence and the warmth of the participants all speakers seriously presented their thesis though there were minimum number of participants all were active listeners and they also in the free uh, interactions shared their friendship very warmly fortunately only on very few occasions we had obstructions due to the failure of connectivity today was the worst affected day men and women in equal numbers participated in the program the team invited many speakers to view their area of interest from the spiritual dimension many speakers conceived the moral dimension especially in the realms of work ethics and financial security all those has given opportunity for the those who live in the cubiculum of their specialized area to open into a wider horizons and the opportunity has been created by fai and especially thank all the organizers of fai i remain now i request dr romberta somavilla i think if he is there kindly sir please give your remarks good evening everyone well first of all i would like to thank the invitation to be the secretary of this event here in brazil uh, with uh, my friend soeli uh, here in brazil uh, certainly all of us at the central universitario unifac west we are very honored to be part of this event that uh, unifies countries and cultures all the speakers and all the topics 
that was discussed were chosen with care so that we had moment of learning and exchange and it was everything so great. So we had a great time together and for that I'm grateful once again again so thank you very much for those three days. Thank you. Now it's a time for Dr. Soli Araldi Samborski. I welcome Samborski to give her feedback. Well, so as uh, Dr. Somavila, I'm also honored to be part of this event and also grateful to have learned so much with all of you on these days and say that uh, after everything we have seen in this conference, so many samples of uh, academic research and also some thoughts and studies that made us see uh, life in a different way. And we can even uh, rethink some of our concepts and some of our practices. So I'm really very honored and grateful to be part of this because it all enlarges our knowledge of life and our understanding of everything that happens around us, especially in this event about our uh, soul and, the, and something else that lives uh, with us. So I want to say thank you and also renew the votes that our partnership goes on so we can have some more opportunities to have events like this and uh, also renew the votes that our partnership will continue for many, many time. So then I would like also to wish you peace and health so that we can continue our works, our studies and continue to meet together. So. Thank you very much, really. Thank you, Dr. Surly Arlde. Now over to Dr. K.S. Joseph Wilson. I request to him to give a brief report of 23rd Fatah Academy of India International Conference 2021. Thank you, Dr. George. This is a report on 23rd Fatter Academy of India International Conference 2021 on Emerging Trends and Adaptation of Spirituality in Management, Artificial Intelligence, Education, Health, Tourism, and Science and Technology during 19, 20, and 21st February 2021. Organized by FAI in collaboration with Arulanandar College, Unipark West, uh, Brazil, Brilliant. It started with the inaugural function. Myself, Dr. Wilson, welcomed the gathering and introduced the dignitaries to the forum. Dr. C.S.A. Raj and his team provoked the God's blessings. Professor M. Lelis Divagar, Vice President, Professor and Chairperson, School of Mathematics, Madurai Kamaraj University, explained the dynamics of the conference. Professor P.K. Srivastava, former president, released the annual report and publication of the proceedings with Springer Publishers. Reverend Dr. Godwin Rufus, principal at Arnalandar College, delivered the inaugural address. He gave his blessings and wishes to the successful completion of the webinar. He noted down that spirituality is a blessing that, that leads us to, towards the height of the loving world, peace and harmony. The patrons and conveners, Major General M.P. Singh, Vice President of Fatter Academy of India, Reverend Dr. Gilbert Camillus, Secretary of Arulanandar College, Madurai, Dr. C.C. Tan, Vice President, Fatter Academy of India, School of Business Management, Meifang Long University, Thailand, Professor Senaida, State University of Internal Affairs, Ukraine, and Professor Arziloni, uh, Unifac West Brazil gave their address and congratulate the organizers. Reverend Dr. John Pragasam, SG Rector, 
Arulanandar College delivered the address of the honor. He emphasizes that education with character and science with humanity should be pre premiered in all the endeavors as education is imparting character building and so socially relevant education. Professor B.S. Bishit, President, Petar Academy of India, and ex Vice Chancellor of D.P. Panth Agricultural University, Uttarakhand, delivered the presidential address. He insisted that the whole world is one family. However, humans have lots of questions and doubts about it. This web webinar will provide a platform for understanding spirituality in a better way. The conference proceedings were released through online to the forum and it was welcomed by all the participants. Professor Haichi Mion Vezana, Vice President, University of Management and Economics, Cambodia, gave the chief guest address. He mentioned that the scientific research about transitional meditation will give solution for all human relationship issues and stress management issues. Finally, Dr. M. Jar Joseph, Organized Secretary and Associate Professor and Head, Department of Philosophy, Arulanandar College, delivered the vote of thanks. He thanked all the dignitaries, Patar Academy of India members for giving this great opportunity to organize such a wonderful webinar. It, it, webinar. it is followed by technical sessions. The first day of the program had an overall of 10 technical sessions where Major General Dr. A.B. Singh, Dr. C.C. Tan, Dr. Bodro Ola, Dr. Liansko Alexandra, Dr. Vincent Seger, Dr. Rian Sant Alona, Professor Arziloni, Dr. Leonardo Broering, Dr. Fatima, Dr. Beatrice, shared their ideologies and views on various topics related to spirituality. The second day had nine technical sessions and one paper presentation. The technical session starts with Dr. Gina and Alzoria followed by Dr. Cheng Boon, Dr. Picheada, Dr. Saivoko Zainaida, Dr. Kulkaraska Lilia, then Dr. Strilena Rachanko, Dr. S. Sesuraja, Sioli, Ozana Matrans Guerrera, Julina Feshini D, Hobola Voldemar, and Leslie Kalyana. Day two ends with paper presentation. There were six papers presented in, in different topics. The day three had four technical sessions followed by a validity function. It starts with the uh, lecture given by Alexander, followed by Olga Sin Sinvinia, then Regina Dutra, and Dr. M. Jayanti. Altogether, there were 24 technical sessions and one paper presentation, which covers this adaptation of spirituality from various dimensions. Hope all of you have attended this conference, found this to be insightful and wonderful experience. This is a short report. I think I will give the full, full report to the General Secretary Pangri Srivastava later. Thank you for the opportunity given. Thank you, Dr. K.S. Joseph Wilson. Now is the time for reviewing the conference. I request to Professor Rekuraman. No, no, no. Give uh, Dr. The review. Sign up, sign up. Rekuraman is not there. You can call then, Dr. Shall we go to Professor C.C. Tan? Yes. Okay, please, I request to Professor C.C. Tan to give the review of the conference. Okay, uh, thank you. So I will speak uh, on behalf of Professor Raghuraman. <laughs> and uh, well, uh, bef I would, uh, before I do that, uh, I, before I share a slide, two slides, I would like to say a few words on the, this conference. This conference sh show us how important spiritual, uh, spiritual focus is. And we see from various uh, different presentations how spiritual efforts manifested in various different uh, uh, modes and, uh, and ways help us improve our health, 
relationship with the world in transforming each of us and also help us to improve productivity, security, and contributions at various micro, meso, macro level in various domains, uh, which uh, from these conferences we see from organizational domain, uh, marketing domain, uh, healthcare systems, domain, tourism, and etc. Uh, the three days of conferences, uh, uh, I would like to uh, demonstrate that uh, in the day one, So in the, in the uh, day, uh, uh, I separated into our conferences, uh, every, every presenters, uh, I separated into self-transcendence on the vertical axis and on the uh, contributions to everybody else, constructively servicing others and preventions of fraud on the negative side. So we're preventing the negative, we are moving into constructive uh, servicing other people's uh, truth of spirituality. So spirituality uh, in these three days of sessions, we uh, uh, gain a lot of insight into how to transcend the cells for contributing to the society, servicing others and the fraud prevention. And uh, for this uh, cell transcendence, uh, we see papers from uh, uh, professors, uh, General and Pissings, uh, on the techniques to improve spiritualities, which touches on uh, uh, the uh, social and uh, uh, psycho uh, biological uh, level. And also uh, he, uh, he, uh, professors talk about practices that we uh, can easily uh, improve uh, significantly is our aurats, which, uh, which is uh, uh, the energies and material transformation. And then myself also moving into uh, talk about uh, uh, which sharing some of the, uh, the discussions uh, on the importance of uh, belief system. And if we uh, really spirituality efforts, we have to move on the uh, understanding on, the, on this uh, belief and, uh, uh, and also the realities, understanding the perception because the perceptions, uh, each of us is uh, the realities of the, uh, uh, the reality is, uh, is, uh, is a perceptual reality and that perceptual reality is the place where we can cause confusion or cause uh, um, uh, conflicts among each other. So therefore spirituality is really uh, fundamentary, not only morality, morality is importance, but also morality that is based on intelligence, based on understanding the reality so that we gain a good understanding. And then uh, we also have uh, also on the same uh, similar self transcendence levels on the theory of multiple intelligence where there are many manifestations of multiple uh, of intelligence uh, from uh, professors uh, Acton, Zervov, and which talks about um, uh, again, the multiple intelligence that uh, which uh, we, uh, so therefore the spirituality is, uh, is manifested. Uh, and Professor M.P. Singh talks about that uh, uh, we have some of the discussion and professors M.P. Singh added on with the spirituality is really embracing multiple uh, intelligence. That means that uh, spiritual, spirituality allow us to embrace holistic uh, understandings of everything so that we can contribute to various uh, activity. And that is how uh, multiple contribution uh, intelligence are. Then we are, uh, a lot of papers are moving into the, uh, uh, for the first day, a lot of papers, uh, papers are moving into constructively servicing others. Uh, so we, we see, uh, we see uh, many things, we see the spirituality contribution uh, to the businesses and well-being by uh, Dr. Uh, Professor Beatriz. And then we saw uh, uh, also, we are also uh, very uh, much uh, uh, valued uh, 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 by the uh, professors Vincent's uh, talks about uh, impacting value through educations and exposures and which are also very, very important. Uh, that that uh, is the, really the strong base for spirituality, uh, which is through the education and our exposure. Uh, through the exposures, uh, we can understand the reality of the world, and and uh, that is how we can better influence and constructively servicing others. And then we have uh, Professor uh, uh, Potra, 
Uh, also, uh, associate professors uh, talks about uh, some of the uh, how we can use uh, the uh, by because uh, after we have gained a lot of spirituality uh, uh, training, and we have uh, we are better able to build a strong uh, uh, asset which is called human capital asset, and that human capital assets can drive. Uh, a lot of activities. Uh, one of the most important activity is how do we use that uh, for uh, improving the productivities of our economy and, and driving the competitiveness of a country. So you can see that we are slowly uh, moving from spirituality at the personal level all the way to uh, uh, not only the industries level, but also to the national competitiveness uh, level. And, and, and so the touching uh, the, the values of, of the spirituality is really uh, broad based. And, and uh, Professor uh, Asaroni uh, also talks about uh, educational management uh, uh, in, in that perspective, which is sharing uh, uh, for extending the similar work on the Professor Vincent's. And then we have the spirituality as a component of land uh, relationship and transformation again, uh, that would also contribute to social harmony and uh, land, uh, proper land distributions and uh, creative usage of land and things like that, which are very, very important. And then we are talking also sharing on the constructively servicing area of spirituality from, uh, from, the, uh, uh, from professors uh, Lewis Henko. Uh, on the, how we can again uh, uh, using the intelligence that we gain and develop uh, for for uh, involve uh, for dealing with uh, 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 management issues and also the uh, and all this uh, competitive uh, issue. So therefore, we are transcending uh, from competitive better ground uh, to a more uh, spiritual uh, spirituality driven ground. Of uh, of uh, uh, of the core create value core creations and uh, Professor Leonardo uh, and Fatima also uh, uh, skillfully and insightfully uh, demonstrating how we can uh, embrace the spiritualities uh, to uh, 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 help us uh, improve the tourism uh, opportunity and also use the tourism uh, opportunity uh, to help us. Uh, understand the spirituality and, and strengthening, giving us the resources, tourism as the, as the opportunity, as the resources for spirituality to improve. So we can see that this are the day, day number one. Day number two uh, has a slightly different uh, profile uh, with um, uh, uh, focusing on the, uh, a lot on the, uh, uh, on the spirituality usage on the fraud prevention. Okay, because in the process, in the process of the spiritualities, we need to progressively touch us on transforming people and not necessarily everyone is spirituality transformed. And so therefore, uh, we also need to uh, uh, take care of the fraud prevention, uh, which is again a constructive, uh, which is the serving, uh, servicing others. So we have professors, uh, Sri Lanna, uh, sharing with us uh, all this, uh, uh, how we can uh, look into and, uh, and uh, coming up with a good system on financial fraud in banking institution. And also we have these uh, similar, uh, uh, similar security issue, uh, uh, some, uh, some, uh, similar financial security issue uh, uh, from the uh, professors uh, Zinaida and Professor Lilia and uh, which are uh, giving us a very, very important structures on how we can strategically uh, manage uh, all this, uh, all this uh, security, financial security issue. Then uh, a lot, uh, again, uh, papers on the constructively servicing others. We have Dr. Chiang, uh, Dr. Chen of the Bunliat from Malaysia on uh, how we can uh, use the, uh, uh, our intelligence again. Uh, which uh, spirituality is uh, part of the driving force for intelligence because of the holistic dimensions of understanding the reality. And through analytics, he demonstrate how we can enhance our uh, marketing and sales. Professor Gina uh, skillfully uh, work, uh, share with us the relationship again between uh, tourism and spirituality uh, from, uh, from the Philippine perspective. 
and also we have the uh, we have the uh, uh, Professor Soli and Rosangela uh, from uh, from the uh, uh, the uh, uh, Uni uh, Fast Batch uh, share with us the uh, arts and and literatures, which is uh, which demonstrated imaginations and artistic uh, uh, understanding. Uh, is a uh, is a very important spiritual effort and give us a lot of uh, uh, contributions to understanding the world and to influence the world uh, 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 from that perspective. And then we have professors uh, Pichan uh, Pichana uh, from the Thailand share with us uh, on the uh, area of the uh, creating uh, uh, developing happiness to the to the to to the to an organization. Again, this is a, a very good effort of spirituality, and there are various different perspective uh, factors that can drive uh, and enable the happiness to happen in an organizations and uh, being a spiritual leaders. Uh, we therefore can uh, understand uh, the realities better, and uh, and and therefore we can uh, 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 manipulate intervene with all the variables, just like the third, uh, this to uh, the personal uh, 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 sharing. Uh, that, that we know that there are a lot of uh, spiritual intervention that we can improve the happiness. And then we have Professor Zuliana, she talks about uh, uh, the uh, cardiovascular uh, risk uh, uh, situations on uh, which is uh, utilizing against the uh, machines learning and artificial intelligence. And so again, with the spirituality enhancements, we can uh, more understand the uh, all kind of variables and uh, that we should incorporate uh, to help on diagnosis and uh, and, and curing and and suggestion and which is sharing uh, professors Pankhas uh, fuzzin fuzziness uh, of, of all these uh, all these uh, 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 set of variables that we should consider and uh, uh, all these are summarized skillfully by professors uh, Sedru uh, Rajat on uh, again uh, that I mentioned uh, which is uh, uh, and, and by professors, uh, 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 general emphasis on the perceptions of reality uh, changes uh, uh, my personal uh, reality, and which uh, uh, professors uh, draw us to uh, a relationship with quantum physics that our observation uh, can change us the reality, which is uh, which is uh, therefore uh, it brings us to uh, a, a next uh, level of physics uh, that uh, that uh, we really have to consider. Uh, the uh, the reality as a, as a method of our uh, human uh, perceptions and and uh, a mind making. So the mind really can change the world, and the mind is uh, so through rewiring and re uh, reframing and refiring, uh, like uh, professors uh, MP things and talk about it. Uh, we we can change the realities, and in fact, different peoples may think of reality differently, and therefore, this uh, holistic, uh, empathetic understanding uh, of the social domain is very important. And these different uh, 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 presenters give us uh, uh, teaching us teach us the uh, empathetic uh, empathy. We need to be empathetic, to, uh, emp uh, have empathy to uh, to incorporate all kind of dimensions. And so that we can uh, get a better understanding because our perception is only limited to our own perception and reality is uh, is all it's uh, every way and and uh, different people perceive different thing and reality is different so it comes to the third day which again we are we are seeing uh, a moving towards this uh, today we have a lot on the fraud, uh, uh, also uh, on the fraud preventions we have professors Rihanna, uh, talks about the role of corporate sec uh, security uh, uh, issues, uh, uh, sec economic security, and economic uh, uh, financial stability, uh, things like that. And then we have professors uh, uh, Silkin and uh, Tiziana's core uh, working and presenting very uh, brightly on how we can model uh, the financial security of enterprise through using uh, very much of, of a system-based views of uh, from the IDA, IDF 01, I think, which is from the uh, U.S. Uh, military uh, in uh, in uh, organizing in the um, project management and and uh, incorporating all the variables in and out 
and, and uh, policies and resources and infrastructures and system interconnecting to each other and uh, to uh, the models was very, very impressive. And then we have uh, professors Olga uh, uh, Varanka talk about uh, again uh, in uh, very uh, in uh, another perspective uh, uh, further expanding our uh, insight into economic security and financial stability, uh, which is uh, very very insightful. So all these are security spirituality uh, domains of the of the of uh, giving us the security uh, so that we can. Uh, leave uh, our uh, activities on the positive side, and we have the uh, uh, we have also uh, uh, Regina talks very wonderfully and insightfully on not only the self transcendence levels and uh, constructively servicing others, but but the correlations between uh, spiritualities and and the hell and the world. So it is uh, so the spirituality has to be holistically touches upon uh, every domain of the of the of other perspective of the of the social uh, of the service perspective and the uh, and the uh, and the health domain is a uh, is a very holistic domain and then uh, concluded uh, by professor Gianthi uh, who uh, skillfully uh, giving us uh, 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 the how she has uh, worked on uh, the reformations of prisons uh, in, uh, uh, in India, uh, and uh, in, and uh, and we can see that uh, it is like a, it is not a straightforward issue. It is just like a school systems that we uh, that we have to go through a step by step to help us uh, understand our mind. Uh, rewiring our mind and then uh, pr providing a lot of practices like meditations and yoga for us to refiring our mind and and so that the minds get restructures and the hearts gets reformed and the activities and actions help uh, get uh, into the practices so that when uh, they uh, uh, they actually uh, all are being transformed and so we can see that, uh, and, and this gives us a good understanding that spirituality is everywhere, not, not, only, uh, not only at the outside, the prisons level, but also inside the prisons level. And, and spirituality allows us to, be, uh, to transform any negative uh, negativities or anything that we think is not, is harmful, harm, harmful to our social psychology to, to all the way become positives and and, and, and becoming an asset, uh, not only for individuals, but, but also for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, for the whole uh, social world. So uh, in, in, in uh, conclusion, uh, we can see uh, that uh, professors uh, 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 talk about the uh, professors uh, 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 talks about uh, minds are the corridors for all the possibilities and spiritualities uh, therefore, uh, it's helping us to transcend all the bounded uh, uh, conditions and giving us an unbounded uh, uh, possibilities. And so this uh, concludes my uh, reviews of all the papers uh, in, in the two-dimensional and the relationship form and hope that you can give a bit of uh, uh, visualizations to, to our presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Professor C.C. Tan, for your detailed analysis. Each item was analyzed and a summary was given. Thank you, Professor C.C. Tan. Now I request uh, Sinaida Saivoka, Dr. Sinaida Saivoka, uh, Professor, Department of Management, Life Live State University of Internal Affairs, Ukraine, to to come give the deliver guest of honor address. Дуже дякую, thank you. Дуже дякую за цей трьохденний марафон знань, які в дійсності сповнені ентузіазмом, бажань все змінювати. Я вважаю, що ми вибрали з вами правильний курс розкриття науки в усіх нових проявах. Я дуже вам дякую. Thank you for the three days marathons of knowledge, full of enthusiasm, desire to change the world for the best. We have chosen the right course. 
the disclosure uh, of science in all its new uh, manifestations. Thanks a lot for cooperation. Surplus. Okay, Dad. Okay, hmm? Yeah, please go to the next, please. Can uh, I request Dr. Saloni News News World Porto to share uh, her guest of honor address? Thank you. Well, what else could I say? Three days of strong and robust discussions, presentations about the focus of the event spirituality. We are joined and we face emotion, we face knowledge, we face what is important to put us, to improve, to empower our emotions and our, and our actions. We just say on behalf of my rector, on behalf of all the team of this event, thank you, our gratitude for that. It is a memorable event for sure for us in our mind. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Arceloni. Now I request to Major General Dr. M.P. Singh to enlighten us with his guest of honor address. <coughs> well, last three days have been of immense value in our lives. I'll talk of a few things as I look at what we have seen and shared in the last three days. First of all, some people may have had some misgivings as to spirituality as being something incomprehensible, something which is beyond us. These are the misgivings most of the people have or may have had. It is not really so. We are all spiritual beings having a human experience. And spirituality is already in us. It has been endured by the Almighty. The spiritual content is already within us. Only thing is, some of us may not be aware that we are spiritual inside. <clears throat> so all we need to do is just shift our focus a little and be aware about the spiritual content that we all have and nurture it a little. And certainly in time, it's going to manifest. So what is the approach to understanding this aspect and building spirituality within us, inside us? So we got to be aware, first of all, and then practice a few small techniques. We all focus generally on the physical body, and we think this is the total body that we have, whereas we actually have the energy body also besides the physical body. So energy body and the physical body, they keep influencing each other positively or negatively. So there is a need to improve our energy body by certain spiritual techniques. <clears throat> So, the, so far as the manifestation is concerned, we all need to understand there is a great degree of connectedness amongst all of us. And we must understand we are from, we are from the same source. And we ought to move, transcend from me first approach to you first approach. Even if we cannot do that me first, we can't do that. At least we must shed me first approach if we cannot have others first approach. And we all have a great deal of responsibility on this planet to make sure that we leave this planet better when we go. And we have our responsibility in every sphere that we are working in, say particularly in this reference, we're in this <clears throat> context where we have so many professors and the mentors, we can always influence the students that we deal with. We can influence them to be better human beings who are the future leaders of your countries, our country, and they can influence the humanity and leave this place better. So ultimately, you don't have to do much. Live your normal life. It is very simple. Simplicity is the key. 
you live your normal life in the form of a household person that you are social mixing let it progress let it go on your movies your parties your uh, good food all those things let them continue as they are but in moderation but what you need to do is integrate something more to your life in the form of spirituality and that will be your enhanced self you will be a better model of yourself and call yourself an enhanced model of yourself and that is for the better world the positive world with this you will start connecting everything with spirituality at its foundation may it be your health may it be your relationship may it be your finances may it be your office workplace may it be the technology may it be even the tourism as we have all seen that we can connect everything with spirituality so that's how i look at it so there is a need to change consciousness and build spirituality inside us and manifest outside i would like to end here with a small story there was a grandfather and he was giving some narrations to small children grandchildren and the grandfather says every one of us has two wolves inside us one wolf is a black wolf one wolf is a white wolf the white wolf has everything positive about it he wants to help people he wants to do good to others he wants to be altruistic he wants to do everything for the betterment of everything that he undertakes and another wolf the black wolf is a greedy wolf selfish wolf he wants to be me first he want to get into that syndrome and be jealous of other people and bring harm to other people so we have two wolves all of us inside us grandchildren asked with curiosity grandpa which wolf will win he said whatever you feed more will win so we need to understand now which wolf we want to feed more do we want to drift towards spirituality improve our inner and improve the outer therefore naturally thank you so much it was uh, very gainfully spent the last three days that we had thank you so much thank you general mp singh for your wonderful insight that by being ordinary life leading ordinary life we can we spread spiritual fragrance everywhere now it is the time for the chief guest address i request the honorable professor p k srivastava to enlighten us thank you very much can you hear me yeah we can Am hear I you sir okay so uh, thank you very much for inviting me for uh, this uh, few minutes my impression uh, honorable mr president mr secretary all the organizing secretaries professor tan major general mp singh and all other learned speakers wonderful program of three days i was just listening the reports of all the organizing secretaries and very elaborate uh, summary by professor tan let me put it this way 23rd fai international conference for three days about 24 sessions five six papers presented in all 30 seven domains connecting spirituality management artificial intelligence education tourism health science technology and probably economic security as professor tan mentioned i had the privilege of listening last presentation by ma'am janti a very useful and enlightened knowledge friends let me recall it was about 5 years back in 2016 when we started our journey and one st st uh, statement given by me was at that time care aware and share i am happy this gone, uh, has gone to the present extent and the three days of exchange of the knowledge ideas thoughts practices and many other things have been wonderful i mean say as i could make out from the uh, summary presented here this platform to me has demonstrated that we all want to live with a spiritual concept in mind in harmony and this is one thing which is needed if we want to prove that we are a caring system now let me say one more thing you see what you have done during last three days program you have kept the doors open for 
exchange of ideas, knowledge, thoughts, and so on. And there is a saying that when the door is open, why search for key? So, friends, your objective is to keep the door open by organization of such beautiful and enlightening programs in future as well. My congratulation goes. The door has to be opened, and we need not go for searching for the sea. Friends, getting together is a start. Remaining together is an achievement, and working and talking for everybody's welfare is a great achievement, in my knowledge. Uh, of course, uh, together remaining is advancement, and this is achievement. Mind, information is not only knowledge. We have to apply with the wisdom. And your this three days conference has lot of wisdom, and uh, I'm sorry I personally missed it because of some other preoccupations. But I could sense from the last presentation by Professor Tan that the thought has been very beautifully uh, presented by all the learned speaker. I thank you all very much, friends. Uh, last about seven to eight thousand years back, as per the record. Uh, in mahabharat the lord krishna talked about the spiritual knowledge of living together in harmony connected to the world solution to all problems of life and believe in yourself etc this concept of lord krishna has been very scientifically explained in different domains by all of you all the learned speakers my congratulations to all of you and best wishes for in future for organization of such programs Thank you very much. Thank you. I conclude here. Thank you, Professor P K Srivastava, for enlightening us. So you have given wonderful sharing, asked us to communicate and act for the common welfare. Thank you very much, sir. Now, I request to Professor B S Bist to give presidential remark. just wait a minute sir i uh, he was blocked in a traffic jam i was just inquiring he told me within 5 minutes or 1 minutes i am reaching let me inquire uh in the meantime i can make one more sentence if you allow me okay sir time, please sir okay i i will cite another quotation uh, which i think we can apply here uh, this is from the elvin toffler the author of future shocks in 1972 the illustrates of 20 uh, the illustrates of 21st century will not be those who can't read and write but those who can't learn unlearn and relearn so friends the talk the responsibility of fighter is to go on doing this process of making things more beautifully explained and with the expertise of all the people across the world uh, this brazilian initiative with the association of fighter has gone to extend that we can talk very extensively with authority and with knowledge on various aspects so keep in mind knowledge complicates but wisdom will prevail on us so whatever knowledge we are collecting gathering we have to analyze ourselves and use it with wisdom and keep in mind the concept of spirituality thank you very much thank you very much Ah, sir, president is joining, sir. Within a minute, he is joining. He is on the system. Yes, he is ready. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Your turn, sir. You will have to address the audience. Sir, professor, the... wish please. It is your time. Please give your presidential remark.
Dr. Pankaj, you can continue speaking something. Yes, dear fellow colleague, uh, President FAI is now on the screen. And uh, sir, are you listening us? He is connecting to the audio. Okay. Sir, unmute yourself, sir. Unmute yourself first. Unmute your mic. Is yeah. it okay, Pankaj? Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, you want me to go ahead? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, good evening to all. Good morning and uh, good afternoon. Uh, it had been great pleasure for me uh, to participate uh, as president also, as participant also, on the uh, aspect of spirituality uh, with respect to uh, many, many uh, areas of uh, interest these days. Well, uh, in the very beginning, I had raised three questions whether spirituality, good governance, and then uh, the faith and religion, uh, whether these are connected or what. So I was wondering that the, that the presentations that were made, uh, they basically cut across the disciplines, including the environment, including doing business and the ethics of it, and then development based on system dynamic simulation modeling and mathematical modeling and various studies. Well, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I uh, compliment uh, Dr. Pankaj Srivastava, Dr. P.K. Srivastava, Major General M.P. Singhji, uh, Dr. K.S. Joseph Wilson, H.E. Mohan Vasna, Professor uh, Giovanni, Brewering, Dr. Roberto, and then uh, Dr. C. C. Tan, always a very energetic figure, Dr. Raghuraman, Dr. Salini, Dr. Raji Reddy, Dr. Professor Arsiloni, Professor M. Lelis Tivagar, and Professor Soraya, Professor Meenakshi, A. Amutha, and all the delegates. I'm sure that we must have gained quite a lot since this is a very old discipline as well as a new discipline. Maybe that in future we find the utility of spirituality and its intervention or interaction with the various uh, other walks of life, including management, including tourism, health, education, and so on and so forth. Friends, we have been talking about good governance for last many, many years. But then I feel that uh, uh, this particular uh, topic which we covered, the paradigm shift, basically a new paradigm has been opened. And uh, many, many researchers will come up into this particular area, that is my belief. Uh, since time immemorial, spirituality has been in different forms and has been of great interest to human beings. It will always remain very, very important for future also. Once again, I compliment my colleagues, uh, Professor Pankaj, uh, Professor M.P. Singhji, and all the friends, uh, Dr. Wilson, and con congratulate you for very successful completion of this particular program. We look forward for the print forms, uh, as you have uh, uh, already talked, and uh, maybe that some of these uh, lectures, some of these presentations which were made over here, uh, they are extremely important for us. Uh, and then it is very, very timely that uh, this particular conference was organized. Compliments to all of you. Congratulations to, to all the participants. And thank you very much. Thank you, Professor B.S. Bist, for your wonderful words of encouragement and uh, uh, encouragement. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, thanks. Giving is the most important aspect in our lives for all happenings, for all things in our life. Now I would like to 
invite Dr. M. Jar Joseph, one of the organizing secretary, to say the vote of thanks. Dear friends and colleagues, I am immensely happy and privileged to propose vote of thanks on behalf of the organizers. This is a moment of happiness. This is a moment of enjoyment. All of us have come together and now we may have come from different places. We may have come from different cultures, but now all feel a kind of a fraternity or brotherhood. In the beginning, I would like to thank the institutions who have collaborated in this venture. FA has taken, Fathari Academy of India has taken the initiative and to which Arlander College, Madure, India, and Unifac West University Center, Brazil, has contributed to it. And therefore, the differences have come into the uh, semi conference. I thank the large support and the uh, encouragement given by the patrons, officials, and the uh, uh, faculty for the success of this conference. I thank all these institutions. Now we have got uh, on uh, the request of or invitation of uh, Fater Academy, so many speakers have volunteered to give their experience and expertise, share their expertise with us. And all of them, actually at different occasions in the report as well as in the review. All of them were named and their uh, presentations were described. I thank all of them. And I also thank the budding stars, the young scholars who have come, offered or who have presented their papers. I thank all of them. This hereditary address, it has been what's called a summary or, or a kind of a program summary has been seen. And as a very insightfully, our chief guest has encouraged us. And I felt many kinds of small, simple statements, but very thought probing or thought provoking statements. And he has given one statement from Alvin Toffler, learn, unlearn, and relearn. And this is a process actually in a conference he was saying is taking place. Sir, your experience and exposure, you have shown, uh, you have expressed through brief presentation. I thank Professor P.K. Srivastava for his chief guest address. I especially thank the guest of honors, Dr. Naida Saivoka and Arceloni, Dr. Arceloni Nusa Volpato. They expressed their gratitude and their overwhelming emotion to be part of this uh, uh, conference. I thank them. I especially thank Major General Dr. M.P. Singh for very insightful uh, speech or uh, uh, statement, like all can be the spiritual beings spreading the goodness of uh, the spiritual, uh, all are spiritual beings and all are able to spread their spiritual uh, warmth to every nook and corner of the world. Thank you, Major General M.P. Singh. I especially thank Professor C.C. Tang. A meticulous work he has done. And I think he being an organizer, he has shown how patiently and how meticulously he was going through the program and taking down uh, every element in the uh, seminar. He categorized the themes and gave their futuristic perspectives. Thank you, Professor C.C. Tang. 
I thank Dr. K. S. Joseph Wilson, the organizing secretary, for his brief report. I also thank Dr. Roberta Somavilla, Dr. Soli Arnaldi Sambaski <clears throat> for their feedback. I especially thank Dr. Shanbugaraju for welcoming us to this gathering. And special thanks to the president of Fatir Academy of India, Professor B.S. Bisht, for his continuous accompaniment and encouragement. Now, this seminar was possible because many have, many organizers have associated for many days. It is not recently started. The organizing part has started much before, and they had many meetings, and accordingly, this was planned out. And all the officials of Fatir Academy of India and other institutions for their uh, meticulous work for the success of uh, this conference. I especially like to thank the Professor Pankaj Srivastava. Pankaj, Professor Pankaj Srivastava in many ways, a leader, sufficient affirmation, and also sufficient flexibility. And many methods of including everybody and incorporating every branches into conference. Now, actually, we have got a focus or a nucleus, though we were traveling through many other areas. And that way, the wonderful thing he has done. I think through this seminar, he became, he, through the continuous arrangement, he's as an organizer, many programs he is arranging. And I think he has become an expert in all subjects. I think this is one of the model or example saying that attending conferences and seminars definitely will enlighten us in many ways. Thank you, Professor uh, Pankaj Srivastava. I thank all the people, all the paper presenters, all the participants, and all listeners, and all my, all my so, who have assisted in many ways, like technical staff and other uh, in other way. So many have supported us. All of them, I, I I thank them. If I don't, I think I have thanked everybody. Definitely, I would have missed a few because it's a, a, a what's called a conglomeration of. Uh, many effort uh, of effort of many and on behalf of the organizers i thank everybody and i especially thank the organizers for considering me as a partner in it thank you everybody thank you very much thank you sir thank you dr george for your valuable and thought provoking and very nice uh, thanksgiving thank you very much over to Dr. Pankaj Srivastava, sir. Thanks, Dr. Wilson, Dr. Jar Joseph. A three days event came to an end. We are planning since last, I think, one month. A different, I mean, uh, entirely a different topic we have touched. And Dr. Wilson was, I think, uh, he was requesting me since last one year. Sir, organize a program concerned with the spirituality. So that moment I was really surprised that what we will have to do because this is a different domain. But anyway, uh, morning I shared a message with each and every one. I think this message is clearly indicating. I would like to read the message that I morning I shared with everyone. Uh, if you are working on something that you really care about, you don't have to be puzzed, pushed. The wisdom pulls you. I think this is the message I shared in the morning. Automatically, the situation and surroundings we are planning, discussing. Meantime, Dr. M.P. Singh is also is directly 
is a deeply associated with me lot of discussion we used to do dr arsaloni dr b3 is professor zanaida from every corner i got support and ultimately the program that we are planning came in reality wonderful deliberations inspiring deliberations unbelievable presentations concerned with the uh, spirituality related with the land spirituality related with the health spirituality related with the leadership a number of topics we have discussed grateful to all the speakers and grateful to the is entire team that made the dream that was visualized by george wilson came in reality i grateful to i am grateful to all of you that uh, each and every one played his role or her role to make this event successful a number of hidden workers are also there those who are those who are not in picture dr raj krishna mandal he did a hard work the designing of website maintaining the easy chair link he used to handle a lot of jobs i am busy with other works but he takes cares so give a big hand to raj krishna mandal for his wonderful collaboration of our contribution and as well as to dr c c tan because this is a team work not only individually fai this fai team is working alti earlier dr george wilson told me sir we should organize this program on google meet because i said okay we will decide later on uh, how what will be the mode of uh, online platform but uh, one month ago we have already shared the zoom logo so that moment i said we have already displayed zoom logo on our information brochure and conference website so we should not deviate from that and that moment i asked uh, dr cc tan you will have to take this responsibility and he did a marvelous job he has contributed sitting with me the thailand time sometimes he sit he was with me up to 11 o'clock but the extraordinary contribution given by cc tan professor uh, dr mp singh throughout his busy schedule he was with us because he was the key person because i have nothing to do with the spirituality whatever is there it is only the friends and people's uh, knowledge whatever i used to listen whatever i used to discuss with my fellow colleagues whatever i used to listen through ramayana through sanskrit shloka through mahamrityunjay mantras through gayatri mantras as well as uh, my fellow colleague uh, uh, maun vasna he is a very good practitioner of transcendental meditation he is a very good scholar of uh, sanskrit he used to follow maharshi mahesh yogi uh, by default i am as directly connected with mahesh yogi under the relations so something that is transferred through my maternal uncle from my mother and all these things the spirituality i have not read but it is due to practice and due to the association of my fellow colleagues i learned whatever and once uh, dr arsaloni asked me that was a really, really a difficult task that you will have to deliver a talk on spirituality i think it was month of august so that at moment i thought what i will have to contribute in this uh, spirituality because this is not my domain okay practicing other thing but delivering a lecture it is a different is and delivering audience so sometimes you know these super powers helps you uh, three or four days ago when it was august 22 the program was organized not uh, yes in any other, in uh, dr arsaloni's program three four days ago i thought what i will have to do i was just uh, at my temple and this is in my house i was just performing some puja to the god all of sudden i got some message that why don't you enter with your own knowledge domain through the design and development of intelligent system and connect it with the spirituality then uh, we started working on that and within 3 days an intelligent system we generated 
and that I presented in Dr. Arsaloni's conference. So sometimes this environment where you are living, this environment force you, this environment empowers you to go ahead with the domain that you are planning, whether you are expert in that or not. It is not necessarily that you have written or you have read everything. This information, this uh, these information uh, that inspires you, and uh, I can say that I used to learn with everyone, whoever may be, either General M.P. Singh, either Professor B.S. Best, either Professor Maria or Lilia or Professor Zenaida Rejane, each and every one is a source of inspiration. And I used to learn whatever is possible from each and every one and try to give a real shape in the knowledge domain. I would like to express my sincere thanks to each and every one for playing the major role to make this program an, an unbelievable topic to make a successful one. I request each and every one, please share your article and let us by February 28th so that we may process a proceeding with Springer or with any other uh, renowned publisher, we would like to publish it under the name of FAI. Even then, some of the papers definitely will be published in the FAI proceeding that will be made online within a few days as soon as we receive the ISBN number from the Government of India indexing agencies. It is already pending, application is pending. It usually takes 20 to 25 days. Earlier it was, uh, we used to receive within one week, but nowadays they are taking a lot of time. They used to verify each and every editors whose names are mentioned on the cover page, and then they release. So as soon as we receive the ISBN number, the uh, FAI conference proceeding will be uploaded on the www.faipublications.com. From there, you can download. It is open to everyone. You can download the proceedings with ISBN number. And uh, if the good research articles, if this will be incorporated in the Springer or any renowned publishers, so definitely we will process it with the editorship of General M.P. Singh, C.C. Tang, Professor Arsaloni. And if you permit, I will also join that team. Because I'm not a spiritual leader. <laughs> These are the persons who have expertise, so they will be in for, uh, the forward position. So if they permit, so I will also be there. If they don't permit, I will help them whatever is possible from my Always, end. always. <laughs> <laughs> so let us, uh, my suggestion, my request to each and everyone, please submit the uh, article based on your respective topic associated with the spirituality. All the authors who have presented their valuable work whether it is associated with the spirituality or land, spirituality or health, whatever is there, we that should be that should be at least ten pages, not five, four, five pages. It should be eight to ten pages. And if you submit it, we will review it. We will process the review process will be adopted under the valuable guidance of these respective editors whose names I have already shared with all of you. Once again, I am sharing Dr. Arsaloni, General M.P. Singh, C.C. Tang. These are the spiritual masters. So they will be front of, uh, runner people and they will uh, take the, you'll have to take the responsibility of reviewing the articles and other fellow colleagues, those who are interested like George Wilson is there, George Joseph is there. They will have to review and there accordingly, we will try to publish it because uh, the next conference, so far no announcement is being made here because the next conference, the two conference we have already scheduled one if the situation becomes normal, hope we all will join at our famous destination where the FAI started its first, it started its journey, that is Goa. And Swami Vivekananda institution has already taken the responsibility to conduct the program. In, and uh, December program as well that we used to conduct uh, on the theme of related themes related with the artificial intelligence, computational intelligence. The Goa program is uh, already focused on, uh, it is already decided that theme of the Goa conference will be uh, the management, tourism, all issues, these issues will be there because Goma is a very famous tourist destination. So these two conferences are already very well planned. 
and one more conference if it is something materialized so you all of you will be informed either in the month of june or in the month of august so one more because four conferences we used to organize in a year and uh, one maybe one plus but four is the our target that four conferences in a year we will we will arrange and uh, the respective proceedings and collaborations with the renowned journals that is all the things are going on so i would like to express my sincere thanks to all of you and hand over the mic to the organizing secretary george wilson to conclude the session sir thank you for your nice sharing about all these things thank you very much sir i think everything went on well so thanks to almighty so i think uh, uh, it is not, nothing to share again i think we can conclude it thank you very much thank you all thank you very thank much you, sir. Sir. Thank, thank you, you. Thank, thank you thank you thank you Professor Tan, please close the meeting, sir. Okay, so we finish. Okay, so good evening, good night, good morning, good uh, afternoon. One thing, <laughs> one thing, one thing, sir. This uh, YouTube channel, this entire uh, volume, the first day, second day, and third day, on the FAI YouTube channel, all the recordings are available. You are welcome to see it, record it, share it as per your choice. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, yes, sir. Good night. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.